Okay. Okay, hello guys. So we are live finally. <laughs> a different version today than uh, previously. Uh, as Anna is playing a tournament and uh, instead of her <laughs> there is going to be another expert in studio, Richard Lehmann, a FIDA master from Latvia who is currently based in Edinburgh. Hi Ritwards. Well, she's gonna join later, so when she finishes... <laughs> okay, so for those who might be wondering what's happening, she still has one round left in the tournament. <laughs> so right now she's in between rounds, so that's why she's just standing here and... Uh, well, trying to make me laugh. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, she doesn't hear you. So, what we are going to do today is <laughs> gonna look at the tournament, Mama Grandmaster chess match between Poland and the rest of the world team. Do you know anything about this event? <laughs> Maybe you know the city even. Well, good. <laughs> okay. So there is a Poland team which consists of a whole national team of Polish players. So quite a serious force. And there is the world team which is five invited players from uh, from all over the world. And uh, in this team there is playing Harika Dronwali, Elsbeth Betz, uh, Almira Skripchenko, Jansai Abdomalik and Leila Yavakalashvili. A team which is on average rating I guess over 2450, so strong, very strong. Yeah, so for now they are leading only with one point, the score is 8 to 7. Uh, they are playing match with five classical rounds. Uh, today is the last round of the classical section and uh, tomorrow they're gonna play basket chess which is gonna be used as a tiebreak. And uh, later on on Monday and Tuesday there's gonna be 10 rounds of rapid chess which is still counted in the overall standings. So classical chess counts as double so it's very important uh, to catch points in these last double games because it probably won't be that easy for Polish players to win back points in the rapid chess. <laughs> yeah, and the games are... Some games are extremely just high quality so far and some games are simply extremely exciting. I mean, every round there are some four games where pieces are just flying. <laughs> so, I think you're gonna enjoy trying to understand what's happening over the board. Uh, so I guess we'll start with the first game, which is Zawatska against uh, Harika Dronwali. Okay, s sorry guys, I'm a little bit uh, clicking the wrong buttons here. <laughs> I meant to delete the analysis uh, bar instead of time, so let me do it. It's not so easy to understand which is right and which is left side. Okay, so now we are not gonna know what's the evaluation of the position, so it's much better. <laughs> oh. So, this game, it's progressing fastly. The players are already playing for 40 minutes, and I guess it was some sort of French defense. Oh. Maybe you know anything about French defense, because I have almost zero knowledge. <laughs> Uh, 
I don't remember that at all. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, we also don't need to necessarily speak about theory and stuff like this, and you can simply jump in with uh, your crazy ideas, because, well, Ritwars has this uh, yeah, playing style that he is very blitz-oriented player, <laughs> and as he is blitz-oriented player, then he has uh, a lot of ideas for tricks and for just some jumps, and, for example, when we play with each other, most of the time I fall victim of all of those tricks. <laughs> <laughs> G4 right now, I like it. <laughs> Although I would probably start by developing knight to f3, you know, just a little prophylactically to have some support for those pawns there in the center. <laughs> uh, but yeah, g4 is a very nice idea, for example, knight f3 and especially if black castle short, then g4, I guess you would just blitz it out. Okay, but uh, I also have seen some uh, games like this where exactly white gets super excited about such attack and once black plays some move like f6, very soon white ends up with a position opening and the king in the center. <laughs> okay, so f6 is this working here i guess no actually white should be doing quite comfortable in uh, this version okay knight is hanging so maybe it's simply we can protect it with bishop g2 or let's me get back but maybe we can just take Yeah, that's what I was thinking, and also I have this very nice square on e5. Yeah, exactly, there's still bishop h3 always, and so there are quite a lot of ideas for a game, and especially, well, the main factor, I guess, is that the king is opening, just... So there will be some taking, we have to take with the knight, because it was hanging on f3. Although, knight f5... I guess it's just a mess. <laughs> uh, so, just to speak a little bit about the tournament situation so far, uh, as players... Not... I'm... I'm sorry, something fell here. <laughs> uh, so, as players not only are competing in the overall team class classification, but there is also individual prizes in each separate section, both in Rapid, both in Classical Chess, and there's also a separate prize for overall standings, and there's a separate prize for simply winning a Classical match. So they are quite determined to get yeah, the Polish team today to show some good result and to try to tie the score, because, well, otherwise, if they don't, then they lose the first of the mini-matches. Okay, and then there's the Classical uh, standings. And in classical standings for now, there are two leaders. There is Shepkos, Ka uh, Karina and Abdul Malik Jansay, who are on three points. And then there are two players on two, uh, two and a half points, which is Elsbeth Pets and Claudia Kulon. So I guess those four players will be also fighting for the top three individual prizes today. So I guess we, can, we have to keep that in mind when we are looking at the games that maybe they are trying to win because they just want to take the first place. Okay, so let's go on. Uh, 
Okay, here I see in the chat that can only hear one of the commentators. Could it be that nobody hears Ritwars here? Uh, if so, then please someone else writes that because uh, I was trying to check and in the local recordings it seemed like uh, it's all working fine so that everyone should hear. Okay, I see another place where this is complaint is said. Okay, so where is Ritwars? Why is he not being heard? Um, hmm, this is a good question. <laughs> what what happens, happens if I do So it? all all I can do is really sign language, yeah. So mm, I don't know, like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, now, now uh, oh, please, please tell, tell me, me if there's, if there's an, echo? an echo, because, because uh, uh, I think, I think you, should you should hear it for, it for sure now. now but I'm I'm afraid, afraid that there might, there might be some. some yeah, yeah it's sounds sounds but, 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 but uh, if it's if the it's case, case, please, please let me know, know and, and I will, I will turn, turn it quickly off. off. Oh, yeah, yeah this, we haven't, we haven't done, done this uh, Skype, Skype uh, commenting, commenting anything already, already for, for a lot of, a lot of years. years. How many years, years ago, ago was it that we are doing, doing more, or matching Skype? Skype. Um, I don't remember. It, it wasn't so many years ago, was it? Uh, but yeah, it, it it was a long time ago. Uh, that's for sure. Um, but yeah, I, I mean, yeah, it, this technology that's always what is letting you down, right? Like, yeah, yeah I mean, just, just uh, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't remember, remember what, what are the things, things that, that I need to, to do to, to make sure, sure that everybody, everybody hears everyone. everyone. And, and, yeah, uh, so, so, so I was trying out some things. things. So, so as I said, I did some local tests, and it seemed like everything was working. So, so I'm, I'm not sure, sure what's, what's happening, happening now, now. So, so I really, I really hope, hope that there's, there's no echo, echo because, because the first day we had this issue that, uh, that for, the, for the first half an hour, hour there was echo, echo but, but uh, everything, everything that I said, said was heard twice. twice. Ah, that's a shame. Okay, okay so, so but, but nobody's, nobody's saying, saying anything, so I assume it's fine. I know there's echo. Ah, echo. Okay. Okay. Uh, so let me try to figure out why can't we hear it first. This is very strange because everything should be in order. Hmm. Because I hear it was great, <laughs> and when I did some, yeah, as I okay. Hmm. Okay, so let me see. Okay. <laughs> this is uh, not very nice. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, let me do it like this. I will go on a short break and I'll try to figure it out. And uh, yeah, we'll back, be back with you very soon.
Ten sil trees, ten sil trees. Testing, testing. One, two, three, one, two, three. I forget what it is. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, testing. <laughs> yeah, I forget what it is. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, testing. <laughs> I forget what it is. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. Yeah, let's think. <laughs> Stay with your days. Let's think. <laughs> <Let's stick. laughs> okay, wait a minute. That's okay. Yeah, but come on, it's local recording. No echo, only echo of tear shred. Tam ir jābūt, mums kaut kā YouTube, es nezinu. Bet ne, ne jā, es, es saku, var, var pavēnāt toreiz, jo nē, tad es vienkārši var atslēgties, jo Ani jau tā padās trīs pievērosies tev, ne, vai kā tur? Nē, nu viņai dolīt pēdējā partija būs, jā, jā. Nē, jā. Ok, labi, davai, tad mēģinam. Davai. Hello, guys. Hello, guys. I actually, I actually didn't, didn't, didn't mute the microphone, microphone the last, last minute. minute. <laughs> So, so it was also here, 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 <coughs> uh, yeah, it yeah, was, it was a, good a good idea, idea to you made, made such an expert to the studio, and it would be really a shame, shame if you can't hear <laughs> his commentary. <laughs> yeah, well... Okay, so, so, so you can, can try, try to say, say what you see, you see happening, happening here, here on the board, board maybe, maybe some, some other, other game. game. And, and uh, meanwhile, meanwhile, I will try, try to understand, understand if there is the same issue, issue still, still or no. Alright. Oh, okay, okay, so this, so this is, is a game between two, two players, players on two and a half points. points. Bed cells, bed, bed, bed and pull out the idea. Both both players, players are playing by five chess. chess. So, this so this is an interesting, interesting encounter, encounter, definitely. Then pull out the idea. Yeah, certainly. I mean, there are some really big threats on the board, like why it is threatening to play D6. And uh, yeah, we yeah, certainly, I mean, there's some, and I mean, yeah, really, I think it's a tough a big spot for, on the board, for, like, for black white because they're barely like, surviving, like, there's so many threats, like, E3 as well, and like, Rook C1, and try and put pressure on C7. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, because somebody... somebody Please, please, if somebody, if somebody can, can uh, write, write, write in the chat, chat we are actually hearing, hearing this double, double voice, voice or no, no. Uh, uh, it would be very, very appreciated. appreciated. Uh, okay, so, so let's, let's see what's, what's happened on the board. board. More. More. Mm -hmm. Who is, Who attacking, is attacking here? here? Is this, is this 
Black Black is more safe, safe or is it more, more safe? safe? Because kind of Black, black is pushing, pushing pawns forward, forward but on the other, other side... side uh, well, black black king, king is more, is more open. <laughs> I think there's a problem for black that their pieces are hanging because there's a threat of e2, e3 and a threat of d5, d6 to move these two pawns. You see? Like, and I don't know if it's even possible to like save the piece there. <laughs> so I think uh, black is going to be the next change down, probably. Yeah, yeah it's going to be, be very, very much the case. case. Nice, 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 uh, uh, managed, managed to get, to get such position. position. Yeah, so, that would be b bad news for Poland. <laughs> yeah, yeah, certainly. certainly. So, 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 so King Sien once again, once again tried, tried play play back back yesterday, yesterday. She won, won uh, against uh, uh, Harika in this line, line so, so why not, why not to do, do it again? again? <laughs> wow, it's impressive. Yeah, it's yeah, a it very, very impressive game. game. I suggest, suggest you check, check it out. It out. Got a, got a nice position, position out there, nice self nice the opening, opening, then just uh, her, her opponent, opponent made maybe, maybe one, one in Eucharist, and, and, and then slowly, 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 slowly she, she just outplayed her. her. Wow. Well done, Claudia. Okay, okay so, so... Probably this is all theory. theory. <laughs> nice, nice. Who would know? <laughs> Should, be Should be a theory. theory. But okay, but I like, I like white's, white's position, position here. I mean, I mean, if you get rook to d1, so nice. Easily. Easily. Queen 95 as well is coming in. Yeah. yeah. And, now, and now, I guess, I guess what's, what's happened, happened is simply, simply the knight on d4, d4 got, got stuck, stuck a little. little. E4, e4 knight, knight, knight d2, d2. And, now and now you need, you need, to, need to do something, something not, not to lose knight, knight, which is quite, quite a tough, tough task, task, I guess. I guess. And in the same time, there's the threat of d6 as well to lose uh, whether a bishop or uh, exchange. So, would you, would you would take, you take this, exchange? this exchange? Exchange is an exchange. <laughs> <laughs> and plus, you don't have a light square bishop. So it's like. And, I, and as you said, the, the knight on d4, it's sort of hanging as well. So, like. If 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 I if I manage to exchange the knight and get an exchange up, then obviously white is going to be better. Mm -hmm. I think. What do I know, though? <laughs> no, it's, no a it's a good point. point. Exchange, exchange really, really isn't is an exchange. An exchange. <laughs> <laughs> and, and it's not going to be easy, easy to make, make a move here. here. But, but uh, still, it feels, it feels like, like I'm very, very close, close to losing, losing a piece, piece. It's just kind, kind of a bigger issue, issue here. here. Not, not just an exchange. exchange. Well, I guess the only move to play really is f4. Yes, f4. Could be a here. here. And, and uh, that, that gives you another, another square, square on e4, e4 where the little is square. square. So maybe now, now I don't, I don't want, want to take this exchange, but... but uh, uh, ah, no, ah, no, but, but I can, I can just take here. here. Rook takes. Rook takes. Yes, yes, and after, after e3. e3. Knight f3, check. Ah, uh, there's, uh, there's a knight on f2. Oh no, oh yeah, sorry. <laughs> the, tr the trick didn't work. So yeah, so you can't take on f4 with the rook. So f4, so f4 is, is the only point, point of this move is to give square, square for, for knight on f5, on f5 but uh, that, doesn't that doesn't seem like, like a good threat. Right. But maybe you can play, no, you probably can take e takes f and bishop c5, then try, but yeah, it's not enough probably. Uh, you, oh, meant you meant here, here and now bishop, bishop c5, don't go a lot, a lot of activity, activity right? right? Yeah, but it looks suspicious, it looks like right? Just just yeah, yeah, never mind, that was just... Okay, okay but, but uh, can, can I play, I play something, something bishop, bishop f6 still, still stay in the game? game? My what happened? Ah, yeah, if, yeah. I want, I want to play, to play e4, e4 sometime. sometime. Right. So, so if, if e3, e3, e4, and where is the queen, queen going? going? For, example, For example, queen f1? f1. No, no or not, not f1. f1. Doesn't, doesn't seem, seem like, like a good square. square. Yeah, but there are not so many good squares available. <laughs> okay, queen, queen b1, b1. 92. 92. Ah, no, ah, no 93 probably, probably has played, but it's here, king, king e2, just to sub, sub the piece. piece. Yeah. So yeah, so, yeah queen, queen b1, b1 and now we are just giving up on for nothing. Yeah, but, maybe, but maybe I mean, some chance to, to hold it. it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, 
the white screen on B1 is a little bit awkward with the rook on A1 stuck and the bishop on F6, this diagonal targeting the pawn on B2. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, exactly. Uh, so, so, it might, it might be, possible be possible to play, play though, just white, white needs two moves, moves queen, queen C2, C2 and rook C1 and then you can resign. If you, if don't, if you don't generate, generate any contra, contra game, game well. well. Yeah. Still, the, Still the pawn, pawn could not be on five five. Could be could somewhere where more is no sort of the five five. So this is another, another issue, issue here. here. Yeah. Uh, okay, okay, so, so C5, C5 played. played. Wow. wow. That is aggressive. <laughs> I, guess I guess the point, the point is, is the same. same exactly. Play, play E4. E4. But once, but once you, you take, take the pawn on C6. C6. Then you're a pawn down, I guess. Maybe, Maybe she, wants she wants to play, play root then? No, no, that's, that's meant by... by... C7? C7? <laughs> Maybe. I mean, right now you're not threatening anything, neither. You don't have to play C7, Ruth. Uh, well, I, 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 I thought I would take this exchange. exchange. Yeah. Ah, yeah, might as well. Why not? <laughs> I mean, you have to help me out. You're much better in positions than I am. Now, I think I really like White's position because Black has so many problems. So, yeah. So, it's really bad news for Polish team at the moment because they're looking to play the match today. Yeah. So let's switch quickly to the next game to see maybe there are some better positions for them. Right. Okay, okay, this one already is finished, finished in a draw. draw. Wow, I guess that's a good result for the black pieces player, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She, she secures at least the uh, second, second place individually. individually. At least she has wow. second place, so... This is some game, game. She, was she was playing black, black. she, she did play the very, very good tournament, tournament so, so she finished she in the half. half. So, yeah, yeah definitely. And, and white, white player, player was uh, not, not playing, playing too ambitious, ambitious over the last few game games. games. Yesterday, Yesterday he had a, she had she a chance, chance to push, push very much, much for a win. We were we very, very excited, excited for perspectives that she, she had in a game against uh, Monica, Monica Sashko. Sashko. But this yeah. time she just, she just chose, chose to simplify, simplify and uh, finish just peacefully. Right. Okay, so we can move on to this one. And, and such a good morning, morning against Abdul Malik. Malik. Yeah, this, yeah, is, this a is a very, very interesting, interesting matchup. Uh, Abdul, Abdul Malik, Malik is showing, showing uh, a very, very good, good chess. chess. I mean, she's, she's, do you know, do you know how, how old, old is she? she? No. Yeah, she's, yeah, she's, she's only, only 18, 18 years, old. years old. Oh. She already, she already has, has uh, three grand grandmas norms. norms. Oh, wow. And, and just, just uh, yeah, yeah, just playing, playing very, very aggressive chess. chess man. Man. She, she needs to stay calm, calm and she, she shows some games, games where she's just pushing, 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 pushing slowly and, and uh, just grinding, grinding out those points. Fascinating. But, but I, I see, see today, today she, she has went, went for some very aggressive. aggressive. Was, was, it was it annoying? annoying? Uh, let's, let's see. see. From the very beginning. D4, D4, D6, D4, D6. Okay, for now it's no annoying, but yeah, she should go for the annoying. As, as white, white played, played GG and Bishop G2, which, which is not, not considered, considered a dangerous, dangerous line. line. But no, 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 black, black. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Um, okay. 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 <laughs> I assume, I assume also, also don't, don't know that remembering, remembering that you were asking, you were asking me someone why five 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 minutes before the game, game what to do with Noni? Yeah, that's true. Like I have no clue. So I'm glad I'm not to uh, Monica today. <laughs> Six Six one, one, nine, five. Nine, five. Okay. Okay. Queen is trying to just exchange some pieces, which uh, she managed, and. Uh, then thanks to Queen's queen 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 side, side. And if, if she does that, that then, then thanks, thanks to Bishop, bishop on G7, she's enjoying, she's enjoying a very good position. position. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, well, White is usually trying, trying to play for, play for the fact, fact that uh, House House Space is in the center, thanks to the D5 pawn, and just uh, like pushing, pushing with, with B6 activity a little bit forward. But I think this is pretty great matchup for Black. I mean, everything is working out. 
And now, now she plays C4. C4. I don't, I don't really understand, understand this move. move. Let me Let just get back, back a little bit. Um, um, why was she, was she not playing, playing B5? B5? She's, She's per prepared, per prepared, per prepared with the V8 already? already? Maybe. May no, yeah. I don't know. I mean, I mean take stakes, stakes. You, you cannot, cannot play, play B4 because, because then, then they, they can just take, take it even. even. But, I mean, you can still play this 94. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. It's, it's still playable. playable. And now, and now you, you can take back B4 very soon. Yeah, like, it's still fine, I think. Yeah, yeah sure. sure. Okay, okay so, so... She didn't, she didn't play, play that. that. She played uh, C4, C4 instantly, instantly, and now they four more play. Yeah, I think she played C4 with the idea knight C5, maybe knight B3. Yeah, this, yeah, this is, is definitely, definitely the plan. 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 Why you, you play C4, C4 just, just to use those squares, squares for the knight? knight. Uh, right. Not, not, not to, to be blocking, blocking your own bishop. Mm -hmm. And yeah, maybe she's waiting with the b5 because maybe she will play b6. Or I don't know, like, you know, because the a4 pawn maybe can become like a target as well. In I don't know. Okay, so, okay, so I hear that there are some, some, some issues, issues again. again. So, so I'm sorry, sorry, but, but uh, uh, yeah, 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 I have to. Uh, Cut me off. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna have, have to finish, finish with, with you, you and uh, probably, probably be after some time to join Anna as well. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> great. Guys, uh, uh, I would be really, really looking forward, forward to how this analyzes also with Twitter's because, 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 yeah, he, he has, has this, this eye for, for all those crazy, crazy tactics, tactics which are just dominating in all this game, but what to do? Next time, we'll figure out the technicalities and then maybe it's about the time, huh? Yeah, yeah, exactly. So, thanks for joining me and. I'll be, I'll back, be back, back with you, with you. everybody, everybody soon. soon. Super.
Ah. What? I still need to set up the board. But no, our mic is on. Oops. Hi guys, so I joined the broadcast, my tournament finished, and um, yeah, I don't know if I played too good, I guess I didn't play well today, and we had seven rounds, and uh, today was qualification for the uh, finals tomorrow, I somehow managed to get to the final, I guess, but yeah, I played pretty horrible. <laughs> uh, but so now I'm joining you guys, Tom's is setting up camera, I hear that there were some problems uh, today, uh, yeah. We also have some little strange place and there had been some problems, but it doesn't matter, right? Uh, we'll be speaking about uh, this awesome, awesome match, Poland uh, Worlds. So that's the most important. <laughs> <laughs> How are the games today? I heard that Riddlers was finding a lot of crazy tactics. Uh, so I am assuming these are games are exciting, yeah? Uh... Yeah, well, you know, Ritverse, this is how he uh, just rolls. <laughs> I mean, I, yeah. there's a reason why I just can't play with him ever any blitz or anything, because he just always tricks me <laughs> every single game. That's true. <laughs> Whenever we meet Ritverse, he's uh, crushing bombs. <laughs> it doesn't matter whether it's a bullet or normal blitz, he just wins. <laughs> I am not even trying to play with him. <laughs> um, yeah, well, there's one draw already. So, who finished? Uh, Almira Skripchenko against Karina Shostakovska. So, so, did Almira lose any game in classical chess? I think she lost it in the beginning, yes. Oh, Claudia. Right. Yes. She lost to Claudia. And Karina kind of just secured herself uh, at least second place individually because she's on three and a half points. That's great for her. Yeah. I guess. But what we also saw is that Claudia is in huge, huge, huge trouble already. Who is she playing with? Guys, I will just post the link <laughs> to any broadcast. Um, so, who is she playing with? Claudia. She's playing with uh, Elizabeth Fetz. Mm -hmm. And yeah, and, and uh, something in the opening didn't go her, for her at all. Good. I mean, she just played like Kings. for me in my tournament today, <laughs> in this rapid. I had a few games that I was just, I thought I didn't do anything wrong, you know, I played according to the rules of chess, like developing my pieces, doing everything correctly, uh, but then I was just finding myself in a worse position. <laughs> <laughs> it was really tough today. Hmm. Well, but you managed to qualify, so this is the most important, right? Yeah, let's see what will be the pairing, because... Mm, finals are eight players and uh, yeah if you have is it called if there is eight players and when you lose first round then you are already only from fifth to eighth place oh uh, well it's a knockout system yeah, yeah elimination you get eliminated i guess yeah but then you still can fight for like yeah fifth place but yeah, but it's very annoying. That, yeah, exactly. You come in the morning, you may be a little bit sleepy, you lose one game, and that's it, and you can fight. Yeah, and, only they, want for to, the... and they want to make first round at 9 30. Wow. <laughs> so that's gonna be the. They want best to, or part. they're going to? They are going to, and some people want to also. <laughs> Participants want to. Because, you know, there are some people who came from uh, further away, so they need to still get back home. So I can understand that. But Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay, and uh, 
how do you feel? I guess starting with three draws, you should be quite happy that you have, you know, kind of qualified, right? <laughs> yeah, guys, I started with three draws with um, average rating my, of my opponents was around 1850. Mm. So, uh, you know, I really am a very poor player in uh, Rapid, but it's still quite convincingly lower than mine, but I made three draws, I couldn't <laughs> wait. <laughs> but then I started to play like a Grandmaster, you know? So this was like tactical draws, then I won two games <laughs> somehow, and then I made two quick draws <laughs> just to secure place in the final. But you didn't lose a game. Yes, that's why I'm saying that I am playing like a Grandmaster, because okay. like, I didn't lose a game, I'm, I made five draws, and for me, any draw is actually, yeah, uh, quite, I don't like draws, let's say that, <laughs> I really don't like them. So it was quite unusual situation for me, but okay, I'm in the final, and if I play good tomorrow, then it's fine. If no, then no. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, tell me what's happening in the match. In the match? Mm -hmm. Well, as I told you about uh, those two games, and this is pretty much all that we looked at. We still haven't looked at the rest of the games, we saw this one draw. Uh, guys, let us know if you can hear us well. Can somebody write in the chat, because we, I know that uh, Tom's with Ridverse, they had some problems, so first there was uh, not possible to hear Ridverse, I guess it was because of Skype connection, and then there was this echo, which could be also because of the Skype connection, but if you could be so kind to let us know in any chat if you uh, hear us now and it's fine for you. That would be great. Mm. Yeah, so now tell me about the position. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so it seems like it was some sort of hedgehog line played by Yawak Kushili Lela. And uh, yeah, let me see, just move by move. Uh, the line was C4. Oh, okay, oh, so see. it's. Mm -hmm. They got here through unusual way, but I mean, it's now it's pretty much standard game. And uh, I absolutely love this position from white side just to play it. It's like whenever my opponent plays this against me, I feel like it's my duty to win the game. <laughs> and the sound is fine. Thank you from me, SC. I guess that's how I should. Yeah, thanks for letting us know. Okay, so yeah, so and uh, Anna here played Rook C1, which is the old kind of classical move, but which is actually not that dangerous in the widest line. is so enjoyable to play as exactly for the plan of playing Queen D2 and uh, yeah, kind of waiting and uh, playing with the Rook A4, A5 ideas. Yeah, especially that here still didn't play A3. Yeah, it's an extra time for just. Ah, right, okay, guys, sorry, I was still sleeping and I'm <laughs> posting this post for more of you uh, to come. So, yeah, I was actually on lunch today with Anna, so before her round and in between my rapid tournament, and I was speaking with her, and she said that she was preparing for Lela, and um, that she will play the same like I did with Lela, because I played with, uh, yeah, Lela Yavakishvili during European Women uh, Championship this year in April, and I guess it was first round, it could be first or second round at the beginning of the tournament. And she said that she's going to play the same line that I did. So it's quite strange because I'm almost sure that I played A4, yeah. although I had A3. So that means, I don't know, why did she play like this? And I know that she was prepared, so I'm also surprised that she's Maybe spending she so much time. Maybe she surprised because uh, this is the line without queen on c7 and she was kind of worried that the d5 will come or something of su such sort and that she's not gonna reach the same position for example with black would just play knight d7 and that if she would go now for some a4 maybe she was worried of d5 mm -hmm. which is not working out you just but you have to know that it's not working out and, and what what do you have to do <laughs> or it's some um, your top secret analysis it's not some top secret analysis. You can take take and some knight f5 probably, right? Yeah, this is something that you can always do. Uh, you could also take with ed, I think. I think you can just simply take take take, and you can take up the take the bishop and takes it to the. 
Knight five. And knight yeah. five, and you have two bishops. They both are looking at these pawns here, and the position is just super pleasant. This is like the simplified version of everything here. Okay, but also I'm now wondering, since there is no queen on c7, could black try to play uh, knight c6? Oh, I'm sorry. This escalated fast. So they were... Uh, well, black could play knight c6, but... Because uh, usually knight c6 in this position is not entirely possible due to... If queen is on c7, then there is this knight d5 trick. And after taking ct, and of course, um, we take back the piece on c6, and it's... Or winning, or better, depending on the position. But here, maybe with knight c6, it was possible, or no? Yeah, but what is the knight gonna do on c6? I don't know. <laughs> it's <laughs> it's here, uh, one, the lines when it goes to c6, later on it goes to e5 to d7. Okay. But on c6, it's um, protecting a5. So if you want to go for this line with a4, a5, then you can take the knight. So that changes a little bit. But still, yeah. if there is uh, Mateusz Poszewski here, who, <laughs> as we told you already in the previous round, is helping Anna during this tournament, maybe you can <laughs> tell us, is it still Anna's preparation, Roxy one, or maybe, um, yeah, she was confused with some move order, could be cool to know, but since she lost a lot of time, probably she was surprised to have something, right? Yeah, so Roxy one, 97, queen d2, and this is like the classical, the old theory, you would say. I would, yeah, you could say. Yes. Yeah, but that probably means that Lela knows it pretty well. Yeah, I mean, this is just the most standard thing that you can do here, and this is such a waiting game, and uh, and Anna is spending way too much time. This is Black's strategy in this opening, um, and they're just moving pieces around and uh, waiting as white as spending time, burning uh, those time, and just uh, thinking. Uh, how to break through, where to break through, and uh, just yeah, when the time will be limited, so to say, then she's gonna think about making d5 work, or maybe she'll go for some uh, of the crazy plans on the king side. Who knows? But can she already play d5? I think she probably can, yeah. Because the idea is that even though it's three times attacked, then after exchanging on c2. It's not anymore. <laughs> but is it good? Also, B4 will be hanging. Now oh, I have to take on C2, right? I have no idea. I think I exchange it on C2. And All I the take... way? Yeah. And now question. If after ED, I... you also don't have to take ED. I can take on A6. But then I take on E4. All right, and you have knight g4 at the end of the line. Yeah, so I take I on e4, you have to take, and I also have also bishop b4, and I can be just comfortable. Oh, that, oh, or that. Ah, this is even better. Threatening mate and threatening you. Yeah. And queen c8 is, of course, not helping because, I oh, know it kind of is. Queen c8, you can stay in the game. Okay. Although, queen c8, you play um, bishop f8. Can you do that? To, because after queen c8, bishop c8, knight is hanging on d7, and we can't <laughs> go to attack the bishop. We would want to go to b6, but it's not possible. This is funny. But bishop f8, and now we still attack h2 and the bishop, and, and if you exchange queens, then this is what we want, that two bishops are hanging. Bishop f8, is it true that it's working? It looks like it's working, yeah. It's a very funny move. It's very <laughs> strange. But it's working, yeah. Okay, so that could work for black d5 straight away. If usually in mm, this Pausen or Khan uh, variations, oh no, this is hedgehog already, right? After c4. So in this structure, black wants to push b5 or d5. So if it's possible, then it's usually uh, quite fine. At least that's what coaches said, uh, <laughs> say to juniors. But then again, it's not so easy. But I think in this in this version it's pretty good. But I don't think she wants to play b5 already. Not b5. D5, d5. sorry. We have a comment by Xenon that Zavatska is losing. Shall we see what happened there? Yeah, things are escalating very quickly today. So Yola is playing with Harika. 
we saw this one and I thought that exactly Ritors mentioned this g4 idea and just to go for the kingside attack and of course that's what's happening uh, but why would this be losing? it looks like a very balanced position for me yeah <laughs> it's at least when we look at it it seems like there is okay at least a lot of game here why do you think that Zavetska is losing? <laughs> Xenon, you wrote it to us. Maybe maybe computer doesn't like it or didn't like it at some point. But at least for us, from the human perspective, it's still a lot of game here. Yeah, and actually I like why it's chances better because the only thing Black has is some threats of taking with d4 and opening up the position in that way. Uh, but on the other hand, white is ready for two different breaks, either f5 or g5. And black always has to watch out for both of them, and so short castle is like this kind of thing that's... Oh, well, you have to really know what's happening to make here, because those pawns are just there, they are ready. And if you're not making short castle, then your king is in the center, and it's not allowing you to jump your rook to c8, because if you could do rook c8, the position would be... That would be easier. Nicer, yeah. So she played knight a5, so she will try to go knight c4, or at least she keeps that as an option. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, some queen b5, knight c4, pushing on b2. But still, well, that's I... probably her plan, yeah. And what should we do with white? Probably I could just. Maybe she'll play queen b5, king b7 to <laughs> develop rook to c8. <laughs> I think this is something that she could do, yeah, really. I was thinking just to play some queen e2 simply to stop this queen b5, as it's quite an annoying idea. And to be ready to beat knight c4 with some b3 ideas. Like this, for example. I don't know if actually I need these b3 ideas, but. Yeah, that seems to be good. Yeah, just not allowing uh, queen b5. No, I think you should play b3. Why not? Uh, because, because it just takes takes and not going back, and you don't know yes, what to do. <laughs> and I don't know what to do, and uh, I haven't achieved anything. But then just. Hmm. I don't. Knight d2. But then you will take on d4 or Yeah, knight take c6. another knight coming to c6 and this is already so, kind of working out for So slowly pushing on those weaknesses because white has more space mm, but once pieces get exchanged then those pawns might become weak. Maybe something like rook c2 simply. Although also this is... But then queen b5. Oh no, then you have b3. Do I? Uh, no, you don't. <laughs> you just simply <laughs> But take it, it doesn't threaten anything, right? Mm -hmm. So we can just play some move like 92 now. Yeah, this is very, very complicated, but I. This was some trick, <laughs> <laughs> this comment that Javatska is losing. <laughs> yeah, certainly. I mean. You just wanted us to look at this game. <laughs> you tricked us, it worked. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so maybe let's see Claudia's game. You said she was in trouble? Oh yeah, she was in very big trouble. This is where we left it. She played c5. And there are some issues all the time with e3 and with knight having no squares whatsoever. So let's see what happened. Okay, yeah, this is what we expected. Bishop f6 she played. I mean, so she spawned down. Oh, and, and this is the position and now Elizabeth is thinking very much. Already 12 minutes. Mm -hmm. And the thing is why very much, because in this position uh, mm -hmm. she had like 1 hour 15 or so, so this is, she has done two moves and yeah. But I mean the position is just such that she's probably counting uh, how to win it. I mean Black's idea is now simple, she, she wants to play e4 and uh, knight is protected, there are problems with e2 pawn and to win back on c6. So she has to now find a way to stop all of that. So maybe she's counting c7. And with the idea after e4, uh, to take on e4 with the knight. After fb, bishop e4, attacking on g6 and attacking the rook. But it could be not enough. Right? Yeah, it's... No, 
This is an advantage for sure. But maybe not enough. But maybe, maybe there is taking something on better. E3. E3 okay, not to allow knight f3 check, so we still have bishop defending that. Yeah, this is a good idea probably. Knight going back and then taking, yeah? No taking. No, maybe queen d7 exchanging queens. No, oh, yeah, this is definitely very good endgame, two pawns. Or still before that we could have interjected rook c1. <laughs> A lot of possibilities here, yeah, yes. Yeah, so rook c1. But I don't know if it's the best. But maybe it is. Uh, we are just wondering, do we need to go... Uh, so crazy? Yeah, I thought to just play rook c1. And after e4? And after e4. First of all, I am not sure if I can just play queen e3. I mean, it looks weird, but there's nothing obvious happening. And the other thing that I thought is now the sacrifice. Ah, because queen e3, you can't take knight c6 because then there is knight e4, fe, and queen e4. Yes. And we just take it. And this is just a pawn up, and uh, I'm kind of preparing knight uh, b3 somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's it. But also another idea that came to my mind is now to sacrifice something. And this way. So the knight is hanging now and... Bishop g7. Yes, bishop g7, so e3. Or c7, why did you don't want to queen? <laughs> or c7 maybe, yes. And knight d6, but I guess we just play... But yeah, some game is happening just here, I mean, just some queen e6 maybe. Yeah, this is some mess, but definitely white is pushing and the question is... Uh, what to do, <laughs> like how to do it the most precisely, yeah. Hmm. So I guess, <clears throat> sorry guys, I'm losing voice again. I'm really tired after this rapid tournament. <laughs> <laughs> you are just making the rules there, very tired. <laughs> I mean, 5 plus 10 actually it goes mm, pretty... 15 plus 10. Sorry, yeah. Uh, 15 plus 10 it goes pretty slow, it was like seven rounds and each round is basically like one hour so it's a lot of a lot of thinking <laughs> and you're actually thinking yes yeah i had two games that i played the longest from the whole tournament i had some very strange different color bishop end game which i was playing the longest from everyone and then i already <sighs> felt such a pressure because i thought Oh, come on, <laughs> don't play it so long. <laughs> it's time for the next round not to prolong this tournament. <laughs> and actually, hmm. yes, you still didn't know the results, then uh, you're fifth in the rapid section. Okay, so fifth place. So either the tomorrow, uh, for those of you who were not with us before, tomorrow there is, mm, today there was this rapid for open for all women, and uh, there Today it was qualification, tomorrow there are finals. So if the finals are made according to today's results, then I'm fifth. And if according to the rating, then third. Either way, I guess it's not bad. <laughs> <laughs> For the first pairing, could be a tricky place to start with. But I guess let's see. But let's see what are those yeah. players <laughs> doing here in this tournament. And let's move to some games. At least to the... Okay, this one was draw. Oh, I'm sorry. And such club the Malik. Oh wow, this is a mess. Yes, we looked at the returns of this, and that uh, he said that he wouldn't want to be in Monica's shoes, the, the per, from the perspective that Abdul Malik had prepared some sort of line in Benoni, and she got very nice version. And... Can we see from the beginning just to, yeah, <laughs> check what was the line? Uh, we did that, but okay, I can show it to you. So with the with G three. Benoni with G three, so that's considered pretty fine for black. Yes, so is d6, uh, castle. I played with Monica so many times and I also wanted to uh, achieve <laughs> this <laughs> position, but she always tricks me in something else. And she has never allowed me to go for Benoni. <laughs> so there are many interesting lines for black here actually, which are working out quite good. Uh, mm. But here she actually chose to go for 97. <coughs> Sorry. He wanted to sneeze, <laughs> or what? <laughs> no. You changed your mind. I just had a casual cough, but okay. thank you. <laughs> okay, so bishop f4 attacking the pawn, and now knight g4. Okay, and so that was her preparation, yeah? Yes. Yeah, seems interesting and dangerous. 
So Monica answered this queen c1, knight went to e5, exchanged it, which is always nice when you can exchange one pair of knights. Queen c7, now preparing simply b5, not exchanging this strong bishop. Mm -hmm. Queen b1, c4. Was it still her preparation, do you know? No, they were all deploying. Mm -hmm. And now f5, knight g5, this is already we didn't see. I don't know if I like f5. Yeah, f5 is very brave. You you usually try not to do it because then e6 square is of course very weak. Um, I don't want to criticize Ansaya <laughs> because she's of course much stronger player. Mm, but I would try to avoid it if I could. It's interesting, the previous move she didn't play b5 and I was already surprised and she still didn't play b5. I don't really understand why not. Yeah, so so if if bishop f4 then you can just play knight e5, right? Yeah, knight e5 and yeah, you're fine and uh, you're kind of pushing those pawns and now you're ready for knight c5 and... Uh, or maybe she didn't like queen f4. But then bishop e5 is possible already, right? Yeah, there is just bishop e5. Because now if knight e5, then knight f6, that of course you could not like <laughs> yeah, since you're yeah. getting knighted uh, on g7. But there is bishop e5, I guess. Bishop e5, queen h4. Or maybe she was not so certain that oh. here some knight g5, h7 is weak. Mm -hmm. Don't know, it feels pretty safe it, for yeah. me. There is even queen on c7 defending yeah. it all. I mean, that's what you... At least, as far as I have seen and analyzed, that's what you would prefer. Although you still played f5, but at least opponent mm -hmm. lost this 10th b with queen. So, and you already have b5. But okay, let's see what's happened. Uh, so, f5, knight went to g5. And so she went for something. Now she went for b5 and took with the rook, which is interesting. Very aggressive approach. And now knight e4. Which is also interesting. And they're playing fast. I mean, this position is absolutely crazy. Do you think? <laughs> yeah, so knight e4 allowing the exchange and then you take the pawns. But maybe she... I guess she doesn't mind that and she just wants to open up this bishop from h8, push on b2, that's why she took the rook on b5. And now just asking questions to the opponent, what will you do with this b pawn? Because also there will be idea queen b6 and then c3 is a threat, since there will be a pin for the b pawn. Rook b1 is hanging. Hmm. Yeah, so let, let's see what happens on the board of this taking, taking, taking and rook C1. Rook C1. So the idea is that there should be working some tactics, yes? <laughs> okay, so what about queen? if we go queen b7 in order to attack b2 and d5, then you just take on c4, right? Yes. And I think you should be happy with that. Yes, I think certainly I'm <laughs> quite fine with this exchange. So maybe you have some other ways to attack those pawns. Okay, so what is happening here? We're trying to figure out what is happening in this crazy Benoni position. Hmm. There is some queen c5 to push on d5, but once again, I'm not threatening anything, so sorry about that once again. Uh, yeah, very interesting hmm. stuff. Can I still. What is she pushing actually for? Maybe on c3, just to close this, it's probably too brave. Just kind taking of very and, I, simplifying yeah, everything. and I wanted to take, but you just give a line, so it's not what you should do. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, knight e4. Hmm. Okay, so probably knight e4 should be played, just to gain... Well, also taking with the bishop is very interesting because after this exchanging, the bishop is not doing much there anymore on g2. And knight on g5 is kind of keeping the king in a mate. But can you actually mate it? <laughs> no, <laughs> I don't think so. Again, there is this queen on c7. Or maybe. Maybe at least it's annoying to face with black. 
but I would I would be happy. I don't know. And uh, I am just very much overestimating uh, bishop pair and bishops in general. So whenever my opponent gives up his bishop or her bishop, it's I am really happy. Oh, the body you also like bishops, right? I think you usually. I guess I like them. Yeah, I don't think I have so big preference, and I'm trying to be flexible and objective but uh well, i am completely trying the same but i am usually not <laughs> <laughs> so that's one of my really biggest weaknesses okay so now you know i'm really amazed by the aggressiveness with which kind of uh Jansaya is playing this game i mean she's this is just going forward everything f5 b5 rook b5 knight e4 yeah and she's black and she's playing against uh monica sochko which is so uh, very high level player so oh she has no respect why would she <laughs> <laughs> that's how you get to the top of the world okay so i guess this is very much for us to try to guess what's going to happen here and let's see in the next game yeah um what has happened in this one absolutely nothing yeah <laughs> so girls are just Playing around, what what uh, Lela played in the previous one? King I H8, H8, the classical <laughs> maneuver here, and what is interesting that Anna played Queen F2, which Good. is kind of allowing already to go for yeah, G5. Yeah, because one of the plans for the blacks in those structures is G5, then you go Rook G8, either G4 or Knight G6, Knight H4 or F4, you know, some attacks. <laughs> but although you are always saying that they are not too good, right? Well, they are not in time, yeah, but... Mm -hmm. uh, but if white is too slow... Well, then white is not doing be. anything at all, not creating any threats on the, her own, then uh, they can do something. So what would you do? G5? Or still waiting or improving mm -hmm. position? I think or G5? Already time to play G5, I don't see any reason why not. I mean, those G5. knights on this B3 This position is always crazy. B3 and B2, that don't seem like a squares for knight when you want to go for some attack, so... Hmm. Yeah, G5. And what to do? Why? How do you react <laughs> on this? <laughs> and so what do you think? Black will try to push G4? But G4 is pretty dangerous because F4 and then... I don't know, you don't have E5 square anymore. Well, you don't have to rush with anything. You're not going to push g4 before you play rook g8, for example. And then you could answer f4 with the uh, pawn already going to g3. Yeah, and then uh, g4. Yes, for example. Or also just still somehow improve the knights. One knight could go to g6, the other ones could be still on an e5. And uh, yeah, just stand step by step. Yeah. I, I always like this position. I would sometimes try to uh, play it with black and blitz or something because it seems very rich and tricky so opponent to react has to kind of think. Yeah, but you have to know those ideas as well because I, have, I remember for example uh, an example which we had uh, somewhere in the Baltic Zonal tournament uh, where uh, Aloysius Quenis uh, played uh, this with White, who is expert in, uh, who was expert in this opening from the black side, and uh, he just won against the strong international master Thomas Laurusius. Uh, I think in like half an hour. I you mean in this land there was taking this knight on c5? No, playing c5 with White, yeah. Yes. I, I know this game. This is like one game that I was <laughs> checking <laughs> when preparing uh, for this. And actually, that was, yeah, uh, how many years it was ago? Two years ago in Riga Technical University Open, which we were mentioning to you uh, also yesterday. It's a great open. You should check it out <laughs> in Riga in August. So. Just a small advertisement. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really great. So, uh, well, I'm telling it <laughs> honestly. And I was playing there yeah, two years ago, and I played also with an um, Estonian player. He has recently made international master, I guess, uh, recently. And uh, yeah, so there is this line, and 
the famous game with La Russia's as Tom mentioned, was the only game that I checked. And I actually got a very similar position in my game. And very promising position, but well, then I didn't have famous technique and I just lost. <laughs> but yeah, he was, he was a great specialist in this line. Have you played with him in... Uh, I guess you had to play this uh, line with Aloysius? Uh, or he, he was always trying to play e5 in the first move? Uh, he knew that I am playing the line which is actually giving White's big advantage mm -hmm. and so he was always avoiding and the same like he was doing it against other Latvian uh, Grandmaster School <laughs> all knew the recipe and how to play against his opening and his line mm -hmm. but uh, yeah I had to I played it against other players so <laughs> so but then is now Anna thinking? Yeah, it's now Anna's turn. G5 is played. Ah, G5 was played. Okay, so it's not our analysis. Okay, so this could be interesting. But Anna is spending a lot of time. I'm afraid she's in trouble. At least I kind of got the feeling that she a little bit lost her self-confidence. Uh, she won first game with Harika, which was a great win. And she, Anna is the lowest rated participant of the tournament, Harika is the highest rated, so it was great boost. But then she lost three games, even though most likely, well, she didn't deserve it, looking at the positions. And she was already quite sad, yeah. But let's see. But on the other hand, also Lela played here a game that she deserved to have more <laughs> points. I think those are two players who kind of were uh, very unlucky in this tournament, in those four rounds. Yeah, but Lala's result is not so bad, right? She's on 50%, something like that? Mm. She just made few draws, yeah. She won one and she lost another, and mm -hmm. then two draws, I think. You can just go on her. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. yeah, so she's in two out of four. Okay, so Anna really needs to speed it up and what then do you this think? game well, How get... should she react? What to do? Oh, concretely. You should not. Re you should react by not reacting, kind of. <laughs> okay, so what you shouldn't to do? touch these two pawns. This is important, I think, because mm -hmm. any of those moves are weakening. Because uh, if you, for example, push G3, then F3 is already not... And then this diagonal strong, is yeah. very, very dangerous. And it's like step by step and slowly probably this... If, yeah, black is correctly, this diagonal is going to crash. And the problem is that you would probably want to play A4, A5 at some point. But you can't do it here because after A5, uh, if black takes on A5, you just have no good move. <laughs> You can't capture it with B pawn, and you can't capture it with the knight. So I'm not sure. Like, what should White do? At this point, already I'm also not so sure. But maybe she should just be prophylactic, and she should play some more like A3. Okay, and so in case of D5 exactly. comes, then B4 is defended. I mean, it's a good idea to have everything defended in these kind of positions where explosion can happen any moment. And so you just want to be ready to it as much as you can. And what if rook g8? Rook g8 can be played, of course. And uh... hmm, I would like to bring my pieces back, but let me. <laughs> For example, queen d2. It's, yeah. No, but queen d2 is not not good idea. No, no, g g4 is too strong. Right, we have a problem with e4 pawn. Hmm, so maybe we have to already play h3. You just said that you yeah, shouldn't I'd, move those pawns. I know, because, but I'm just thinking if in this circumstances maybe we have to already. And what if h5, if black is trying to be yeah, black can do that. shameless? But uh, my point with h3 is that uh, here, hmm. after g4, at least the h file will be open. And black will have to pay much more attention to it. Yeah, but at the same time, g3 will be with Tempi and you can take hg, so also your king will be in mate. Hmm. So, yeah, this is such a very interesting moment, since black plays very concrete with g5, 
and there is no joking around anymore. <laughs> uh, basically, maneuvering game is kind of finished, not entirely, but yeah, something has to be done. I actually know that Anna, I think Anna used to play with Black, yeah, yeah. also, and definitely she started her uh, junior career with playing Paulson, and I think she used to try those lines with Black, but at the same time, I kind of have this memory that she was telling me that she doesn't like it, uh, to face it with whites. Yeah, since Anna is my very good friend, and so of course we spoke a lot and it was this good moment that we were not really in the same age group she's older than me so we weren't uh, really yeah Afra afraid to stay some secrets yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we were never really seeing each other as competition just friends and yeah so we could share these things and now she's thinking again for yeah it's not easy it's very not easy to answer this g5 if you are you, if you were not ready for it before, and she obviously wasn't if she played Queen F2. Yeah, Queen F2 was maybe, maybe she was, at this point maybe she thought, okay, I will uh, allow my opponent to play G5, so I will provoke her to G5, hoping that it will turn out to be a weakness. But at the same time, you need to have something prepared. Yeah, and already 10 minutes. Or maybe she just didn't think about it, yeah. Already 10 minutes thinking, yeah. which is very much considering how much time she has on the clock. Okay, she still, she only has to make 19 moves. 27 minutes. <laughs> For me, it's a lot. <laughs> For you, it's a time travel already, <laughs> right? Oh yeah, under half an hour, this is already a little shaky and... Yeah, it shouldn't go that low ever. <laughs> okay, but uh, let's see some next game. Okay, I will come back in like one second. <laughs> I mean, one minute, I'll be back. Okay. Uh, so meanwhile, let's see what's happened in Claudia's game, uh, because it was very interesting how is Elizabeth going to play from this point on. And she did e3, which probably was the strongest move, e4 was played, and she sacrificed. Oh wow, this is impressive. Now she took with a bishop, I have no idea if that's the strongest, but... Oh, and now Claudia is thinking, so this is the correct position, okay. Hmm. Well, it seemed like an interesting option to take with a queen, without any counting or anything, uh, because, uh, well, simply I have an option now to play rook d7 in the next move. Obviously, knight e2 is not possible, uh, because king f1 will just come. So, I'm doing a knight f5, and that's going to be met by... Yeah, that can hi Anna. <laughs> can be met by rook d7 already. So I'm very curious what was her plan to play against Queen takes e4. Uh, but Elizabeth played bishop e4, and now she's thinking once again. So knight f5 probably has to be played. And now is she gonna go for an endgame? Usually it's said that if you have rook against, two, with, especially with pawns, uh, against two pieces, then uh, you're just happy. But, uh, but for now she has still, <laughs> sorry, she's just piece down, okay. Piece for three pawns. Mm -hmm. hmm. And after queen takes on d7, you take with rook, yeah? I take with rook, yes. Not king, <laughs> not queen. <laughs> and after king, somewhere. Now I thought about c7. Attacking the rooks and rook c8. No, rook c8 and bishop. Let's say rook e8. Yeah. And. Uh, oh well, I don't know. <laughs> Let's do this, bishop b7. You can do it anyway, and probably you will have to. No, knight e7. You are gonna try to hold this point? <laughs> I don't know, I will try. If I manage. Hmm. Mm, this is. Of course, an interesting approach. Okay, you can do this. Knight c8. Yeah, but the thing is that right now I will start to still. I you don't want to give this. You will try to pick up some pawns. Yeah, you yes. just try to take b and still four pawns simply, and pushing, playing positionally without a piece. <laughs> That's very often a good idea, actually. Like people are saying it like. Uh, 
a joke usually this term that oh, well I was playing positionally just without this material but it's very often uh, just the case and uh, right the strongest approach for the game yeah because they are trying to force things and when there is anything so you are just giving uh, yeah giving your pluses to opponent wasting time basically I think I got totally sick on playing this <laughs> rapid tournament <laughs> Yeah, playing chess is no joke. <laughs> yeah, certainly. So. <laughs> <laughs> so sorry, guys. I feel just yeah, <laughs> not so great. <laughs> but bishop e4 and now knight e6. No, you were saying knight f5. Knight f5. Yeah? Well, knight e6 has a problem of bishop takes g6, and this yeah, is already. Yeah, that's already too much. So knight f5 too. But after. Yeah, knight f5, we can't also push g4 because simply knight to h4. Gosh, is this a move? Hmm. So maybe and rook b8? Rook b8? Trying to. Some, simply some, for example, queen a7. Another pawn hanging. Yeah, I think this is really hard for black. The only thing is that Claudia is usually good in those crazy positions, and uh, so she turns to tends to uh, turn the tables around even if she's lost. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, guys, for those of you who don't know Claudia so well, she's just famous <laughs> from that. Uh, she enjoys losing positions. She even mentioned that two days ago during the broadcast that she uh, just <laughs> when she you, enjoys them. Yeah. Really? she said that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like a joke. Yeah, but she said, if you are winning, then you you have so many options, and you have to choose. If you are losing, then you have basically only one option to stay in the game, so it's easier to play. <laughs> I have never heard somebody enjoy a losing <laughs> position. She played ninety six. So she give is giving up on g six. Hmm. I think this is not the best. Hmm. It's just gonna turn out to be too much, I think, at the end. Because white can take on g6 even mm, go back with the bishop? Yeah. No, if you go back then knight c5. But so what? I mean, why? Or maybe bishop h5. After king g7, I think bishop h5. And queen g6, you can't stop it. Okay, there is that. That's true. But yeah. I mean, even, even if you go here, then there is no problem with you exchanging my bishop anymore. I yeah, it's, it's too much. It's just a material advantage for white. And how many points Claudia had? She was doing very well. She was on two and a half sharing, sharing second place, kind of. Uh, they are actually sharing with each other. They both okay. are on two and a half points. So the winner can catch up with Karina. Okay, yeah, so it's, they are fighting, really fighting. No, but, but it seems like white is just winning. Though she's spending some time, maybe she's not that confident, but I think she, I mean, player of her class will quite should easily at least convert this one. Okay, so let's see. We haven't looked at Yola's game for some time since since we got a false alarm <laughs> that uh, Zabaska is losing. Yeah, let's look at this one. So this is where we we left it after knight a5. Queen e2 two was, played, was played as you as you said. Should Rook c8. So it's a very interesting move. I didn't expect this. I guess, I guess the idea is to give us space for queen to go to the side somehow and then... No. But rook c if you have to play such move like rook c8, something went wrong probably. I don't think she had to play this move. I mean... What could be the reason why you need to play it? Queen a6? Yeah, <laughs> No, it's just it's very hard to imagine why could she need to play. She just chose to play it. Okay, so she was making a maneuver for the king, but then why not to go with the king with the, behind the rook? Okay, so this is interesting. Let's see. And this is the current position? No, still rook d1, c4. And this is current position. The rook c8, king d8, that's unusual. So well, she <laughs> has to somehow try to develop her h8 rook. That's what we were already mentioning, that this is important, but is now possible knight to e4, or it doesn't do anything? 
I want a knight e4, jumped on d6, but she will probably just play knight b5, knight, sorry, b7, yeah? Yeah, she could, or... Hmm, it looks very good for white, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but what to do? Black wants to do something. <laughs> King c7, rook b8, double rooks on b line, probably. Can I go somewhere like f5? f5, and if I... Hmm. If I take it? Oh, then it... No, 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 I can't take it. Okay, if king c7? Yes, you can do that, of course. <laughs> uh, let's see, f5, king c7, maybe f6? No, I don't need f6. Or, or maybe you just take on e6. Then play knight d4, and, or actually also yeah, knight d4 before taking on e6. Could be better to keep keep the tension. Yeah. And knight d4, now you're threatening knight b5 and check. Yeah, this could be very much the case. And rook can come to f1 and threaten also some sort of more, more breaks there, more opening of the position. Yeah, rook f1 and f6. Or let's see this knight d4. It's an interesting move. So you're saying knight b7, yeah? Yeah, so knight goes to b7, not to allow knight d6, but is it good? Hmm. I would like to pro play some b3 now, but uh, let's try it. So you take probably at least once. Okay, if you don't take, then I'm happy. So let me do this, c4. Oh wow, we are just coming for it. <laughs> oh, king is on d8, so this is what I'm playing for. And if king goes back in e8? Well, I could try... And now I'm going to h7, <laughs> I guess. That's quite a long plan. <laughs> yeah. Considering that it can be stopped on a simple move like queen d3 somewhere along. Yeah, so it seems like Harika is yet again having a uh, not pleasant position and she's having a bad tournament here, right? Yeah, it's... but I would say that she's unlucky, she's just having a bad tournament, kind of yeah. very un unconvincing those games so far. Like she doesn't feel the game and she's trying, but it just doesn't go her way. The same like it was for me in Rapid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good On comparison. On a different level. Because she's, really, she's trying, she was trying with Karina Shevkoska, uh, she was trying with Anna Varakomska in round number one. She had chances, but just all the time something was missing and it just didn't go her way. But it happens. Sometimes there are those tournaments that everything goes wrong. <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, so. Queen C2 played, yeah? Yeah, Queen C2 played. Not sure about this move. But okay, let's leave this for players still, and let's take a look at the, one more time against the game Sochko against Abdul Malik. I'm very curious how it progressed from this point on. Yeah, so this was this very interesting Benoni. This is very, very sharp game. And what happened? Knight e4. Okay, so what we expected? Taking with the knight. Queen c2. We didn't expect this move. Queen e7. Oh wow. Uh, I would expect bishop f5 or e3. What is after e3? Bishop e3? Bishop f5? Ah, Am I but... just not winning something here? Or maybe I, I am giving this exchange. Maybe you're taking the pawn to stop bishop f5 ah, with e4. Maybe. But it's still interesting, I think. <laughs> because sometimes you give up exchange to achieve such um, such pawn structure. But on the other hand, now d5 is well defended and it's not clear what you achieved. Uh, I can play something like queen c5 now. Or queen b6 with the idea that it's pinned this pawn. But yeah, it's a good question. But queen e7 seems... Not that like means the best that black move. is mm, not so aggressive anymore, I guess. Or maybe she just wants is to she play. play she want, is she going for g5 queen f6 trick? <laughs> and g5, maybe. So what happened? Queen takes c4. Queen c4, b6. 
bishop b7 to attacking d5 pawn. Protecting d5 pawn. And now, and now she's, she's thinking. So what about your crazy g5? Let's do seems, it. <laughs> seems not so great. It seems like I'm winning a piece. At least to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, uh, well, of course, you have option to always bail out with h4. And to make me do something with the pawn, but you also have queen c1, right? Oh, queen c1, I guess. You're not winning your piece. Well, not yet, but I'm gonna get there. I still have a maneuver of king f7, g6. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's not serious. <laughs> Try and stop me. <laughs> okay. Now then, I feel the pressure. Okay, so guys, we have to stop king f7, king g6. <laughs> Mr. Grandmaster has some creativity, <laughs> momentum. <laughs> okay, what to do? I'm laughing, but actually, <laughs> I don't know what to do. I told you, this is serious stuff. Hmm. And also, d5 pawn is now hanging, just your position is collapsing. I guess it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I think that could be. No, how to stop it? Come on, it's too ridiculous. <laughs> Queen c1, I think, is just not the move. Maybe you have to go for h4. And after taking just... Just for example bishop f4. Then if taking on g3 and e3 or something like that? Oh, there's still this, these options. But if you take with the pawn, then first of all there is e3 always in the air, and second of all I can maybe... Yeah, and I kind of hate my pawn structure, I will never be able to... Have but, a normal game with it. But also, also black's pawn structure is weak. <laughs> and if you keep defending this d5 pawn, then bishop on d7 is strange and so... Oh, but black sacrifice a pawn, so she needs to do something. And I mean, this way g5 seems like your pieces are standing as good as they ever will stand, so... Unless queen, queen e5, then bishop f4, right? Yeah. And we didn't win match with that. No, it's just... So it was better just to play queen f6, queen f6, but then e4 is hanging, so bishop goes away, and even though b2 is hanging, e4 is also hanging. Yes. Actually, she was up on time most of the games, and Saya was up on time, but now she is starting to spend more and more time. So she probably is not completely certain what to do. Well, if you are counting g5. I guess you cannot be absolutely <laughs> certain of what you're doing. Yeah, that's true. And what about the results of the match? Since, uh, guys, this is fifth game of a match, Poland World, <laughs> as you probably know. Uh, but the thing is that um, this is the last classical game, and then there will be still basket chess tomorrow, uh, which is used as tiebreak and then rapid chess on monday and tuesday so tomorrow there won't be live broadcast we are not commenting <laughs> hopefully i am winning my uh, rapid tournament <laughs> yeah and uh, we'll be back uh, on monday and tuesday but this is the last classical game so how is the result before this round it was eight seven so now there is one draw so it's no, eight, eight seven is not uh, there was four games it four was... games Oh. Ten and a half to nine and a half for world team. <laughs> okay, but the yeah, but it's the same. <laughs> yeah, so one point lead for the world team, and looking at the positions, what could we expect today? So you have one. Oh, G five played. I love this. <laughs> so it's getting hot in this game. <laughs> and if we see still queen c one, bishop f six, and king of seven, king g six, I mean this is gonna be just. Then a great get, day. <laughs> then you should get some prize. <laughs> but then, uh, yeah, so let's. What's the result? I think Yola can win her game against Harika. Yeah, it sure looks like that. So then Claudia is probably losing against Elizabeth. Mm -hmm. Then we had a draw in Stepkowska uh, with Skripchenko, mm -hmm. right? And then Sochko Abdumalik, which is one huge question mark. Did she play h4 instantly? Yes. Okay, so she didn't want to allow. <laughs> it would be interesting to ask her if she was worried about King of Seven Kings. <laughs> she was definitely, that's why she played h4. So here is very difficult to understand what's happening. And then Varakomska with Bialakishvili. Mm, 
anything can happen there, I guess, but uh, Lela seems to know these attacking ideas and considering from the time management, uh, it's practically dangerous just for Anna. But so it seems like most likely War Team is going to keep the lead. Yes, that's At sure least for now like that, they yeah. seem to be a little bit more comfortable. Yeah. Okay, but maybe on this uh, note we could also make a short break and yeah. we will be back with you very shortly, so don't go anywhere. <laughs> yeah, guys.
Hello. Again, there is a how, right? No. Now it's good? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, if there is something wrong, guys, let us know because we had had, uh, had some yeah, issues with the sound today. So, yeah, just keep informing us. <laughs> so, we have. We are back to the <laughs> match Poland world and uh, it's exciting. As we told you before the break, world team seems to be. Mm, feeling comfortable since before this round they were leading with one point and now it seems that match is also more or less uh, well they are not worse right yeah certainly but there are some games which are very open I mean, yeah especially this game which we have now on Sotko Abdumalik then there is also Actually, all the games that are on there are still, in, for, uh, for us at least, interesting. We don't have computer, <laughs> <laughs> so maybe some of them are decided, like a pet's Kulon. Computer probably is finishing yeah. this one already, but for us, with no computer, it's still an open game. No, that one is not, I think, open also for us, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, but that one is not open. Because, well, we enjoy open games where all three results are possible, but this is not the one. <laughs> I've seen Claudia doing such stuff that I will never say that she's lost and that there is no hopes anymore. <laughs> okay, but uh, while we were on a break, there are still two moves played in uh, yeah, my game Stochko of the Malik. Two moves, like it was <laughs> 20 at least. <laughs> Not much happened, really. Well, she took the pawn on h4. But bishop is now going to e6, so that's oh, interesting. Oh, and uh, yes, Monica played bishop h3, yeah, exactly, and now bishop e5 played. This game is very wild. <laughs> but question, couldn't white now simply play bishop e6 and queen takes e4? Okay, this is of course... No, you cannot go queen e4. Well, um... Ah, right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how I was playing my rapid tournament today. <laughs> <laughs> and you didn't lose a game. That's I didn't impressive. lose a game, yeah. <laughs> I don't know how it happened. <laughs> okay, so this is not really working. Mm. This is one of those positions where it's very hard to be a commentator. I mean, it's super interesting and widely open, but there are but so many moves that... you can take straight away on e4 without bishop on e6, can you? You can or take should it. should we be afraid of and hg? We are going to take this on. So now something with the queen should be done, I assume. Or we just go king. Or Why, do so? Why not? I was thinking f4. f4, yes, this is better. <laughs> Let's move this bishop, but maybe bishop d4 now. What is bishop d4? And after queen takes, queen e2? And no, but <laughs> just queen d2. <laughs> okay, something is not, not good here. <laughs> Um, I am but, good at giving up my pieces today. But after f4, sorry, not f3, after f4, can you just take a pawn on b2? No, because no. then bishop e6. That then bishop is very e6 true. and king h8, rook d2. Uh oh. <laughs> the same tactic is nicely working. Oh, but queen takes, rook queen takes. takes, rook takes, queen take. take, and bishop check. And Ooh, you are that's... getting made that. And suddenly it's white king in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's not fair. <laughs> that's a nice line, actually. Yeah, that's a oh, nice Oh, she played g4. Oh, wow. Okay, this. Okay, she check on e6. She gave check on e6. Oh, yeah, sorry, g4. yeah. Okay, I think this is one of the craziest games we've had in this tournament. It's so hard to so impossible basically to understand who is better who is playing for a win or who is trying to equalize or well they are i think they are not playing for a win or for a draw they are just playing trying the to moves, find the yeah. best moves in the position but okay. now you have six i like what about h3 with the idea to go queen h4 i didn't like that there i could play g5 and there's not a single uh, piece that can reach uh f5 mm -hmm. and that's why i wanted to start with queen f6 and now you cannot play g5 due to queen f4, of course. And there are some mating stuff on h2 mm -hmm. and h1. So, and your bishop is hanging, so you probably need to retreat. And this is already some sort of, I think, achievement that I could push your bishop back. And now I could think 
about some book. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, position is absolutely good. Good luck thing about rook e6, d e, and d5. Oh wow, and d5. Yeah. d5, and I don't see what you could do to prevent from taking on e6. And if I take on e6, then my queen comes to g4 as well. But you should probably have something. Uh, but what? <laughs> I have absolutely no idea. I don't know. Just queen c1. No. And if then queen e6 and probably queen g4. Yeah, um, queen g4 will be threat of some knights. Yeah, exactly. So what to do? Could be could it be a good move actually? Rook e6. No, it is definitely a good move. Come on. Uh, just question if it's winning already. Okay, I don't know, <laughs> we don't see what to do now with white. And this really could be strong. So maybe bishop e3 was a mistake. <laughs> but yeah, if but not if that, not bishop else? e3, then what to do? I mean... And queen f6 is definitely a good move. At least, if not the best, well, it's definitely a good move. You just have to improve your queen. And now this king, white king, became so... Yeah, open because of this pawn on g4. Our pawn is on h4, so it's asking just bring the queen and mate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but, but bishop, it, I mean, can do we play queen c1? No, this is a horrible move, right? But then we can just take rook e6, queen e6, I think, also. Yeah, even that. It's not probably that strong because you have some queen g5 now. Uh, no. Bishop h2. <laughs> oh, there is a rook on b5. Wow. And that's why this rook is on b5. <laughs> <laughs> that's very unexpected suddenly to have rook working in this way. Just bam from the other side of the board. And yeah, so that again could be dangerous for white. I think now already, um, I don't know if you agree, but now it seems like it's easier to play with black. At least for next few moves. <laughs> yeah, I mean... Queen f6 it seems so natural. I mean, h3 and straight away, as I said, I don't like due to g5. Mm -hmm. And that I can. Oh, but can I get a queen to g4 now? With bishop on e6, it sounds a little strange. What do you want to do? <laughs> I wanted to sacrifice a lot just to get the queen to g4, but. Uh... Well, if you get your queen to g4, then it's pretty good, but I don't <laughs> see how you can do that. You wanted to somehow take on d5 and queen d7? Uh, yeah, something like that. I wanted to draw your bishop back and play queen d7, but this is not really working. <laughs> no, I think even f3 sometimes can be working. She played h3. Uh, I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> Even though it's it a nice your suggestion. suggestion. <laughs> but I think queen f6 is very tricky with this idea of rook e6, d e d5. I think practically it's something. Oh, but g5 might not be the. I don't know. <laughs> I wonder if I still want too many lines. No. Just I want. To bishop g7? Yes, yeah, somewhere to. Just... Or bishop f4. Bishop f4, I guess, is simply meant by queen d4, queen c3, for example. Okay. And you just have to retreat, and I take on h3 this pawn. And what a bishop g7, then. Uh, what about bishop g7, queen e4? Or are you still. No, but queen e4, then you take take and rook g8, or something like that. Then you take take, rook g8. Could that be? Or just queen g5? And after king h2, you have rook e6, right? Yeah, after king h2, you have rook e6. Beautiful <laughs> again, move. It's... Again, this crazy pin for the queen. And queen e6 is meant, of course, with mate on g2. So that's a <laughs> pretty beautiful position. Okay, I don't know. It's really difficult to understand and what she played is bishop happening e3. here. Bishop e3. So now position is a little different. So what can we do to get to white's king? You have queen h4. Oh, I think it's queen h4 is a good move. And now we want to, of course, take on e6. Do we? It's mate. Oh, yes, g4 <laughs> pawn is hanging. I couldn't understand. Why would we want to take there? So how do we stop it? Do we go to the like king h1 here? King h1. That seems to be dangerous. <laughs> 
Mm. Okay, but what to do? Can you take on a6 and on f2? Where take? Oh, no, <laughs> I wanted to know take f2 on f2 and play e3. And I guess you just play. You can. And rook d5? And rook d5, I guess. <laughs> this is. Or what? Hmm. What's the material now? Oh, we cannot take with the bishop because you take take and you queen, yes? This is annoying. <laughs> <laughs> and you simply play e7, yes? This is crazy stuff. But with the rook. You can take with the rook. And. There's a threat of mate on d1. Then there is nothing you can do about it. Bishop g3 you could try, but then we just take. But then rook oh, d1, but then you rook h2 d1 1. bishop e4, you can show this. This is such a beautiful position. <laughs> and now simply h2, h1. Wow, that's pretty nice. <laughs> okay, so what to do? So this is so nice tactic, very nice. Side. <laughs> I feel like reverse now. <laughs> <laughs> well, if it, yeah, if it's really worked, it was played? Uh, no, no, no. So. No, I mean queen h4. No, queen h4 was not played yet. Yeah, this is the position. Well, but queen h4 has to be the move, I mean. Why also play h3 if you're not bringing your queen there? Queen h4. Maybe she's thinking if to start with h2 and then go queen h4 or... Yeah, but no if point. you start with h2 then you don't have g2 mates and it's not so strong. Yeah. And you can always play h2. I mean... That's true. Not yeah. always, but almost always. So she shouldn't be thinking about that. Okay, but so what do you do after queen h4? If this king h1 is not working due to this crazy line, then what, what else? Hmm. Queen e4? Queen e4 queen is e4. the same rook e6, right? And I guess it's <laughs> good enough to take the piece. What to do? F3 <laughs> you can't do, or can you? No, I cannot do f3. Oh, there has to be a defense. Okay, we can do one more time, check this line maybe. <laughs> so you're taking... You don't trust my calculation or what? Well, it's just that I don't see an alternative. Oh, queen f2. <laughs> Can it work? I mean, At I want to no... mate you. <laughs> I have two ways. Maybe you have to interject like queen c8. Yeah, but this is just a... Lost end game or something, no? And taking on f2 and just bishop e6, right? That's. I oh, know, you are exchanged up. Yeah, but. Uh, Two pawns? Those pawns are hanging. b2 is hanging. Maybe there was something else better. Maybe now e3 just. <laughs> and we are threatening the same bishop b7. Yeah, e3, this is strong. e3 just to open this h1 a8 oh, diagonal. We have way out. How? Oh no, we don't. Check, and now we don't go h2, we play bishop g3. <laughs> really? No? Bishop or e7 is not working. Oh no, because you're just mating with checks. Well, if you go h2, then you still manage to. Yeah. You have to kind of hold this square. <laughs> and the funny thing is, white is also ready to queen there, but <laughs> can't manage. And bishop g3. If I it actually guess... works, then it's. No way to prolong this one. Bishop d4, or just king g8, right? Yeah, it seems so. <laughs> this doesn't change anything. Okay, very interesting if we will see <laughs> any of those lines on the board. Imagine if queen f2 was actually played today. <laughs> well, it's something you can easily blunder. I mean, look how many pieces there are. And can you imagine that in... <laughs> I don't know how many moves is in three four moves this bishop is gonna be mating king on h1 like what <laughs> I can actually already see it <laughs> that was what I was trying to make work all this time with rook e6 and so on yeah okay, but, but she should just play queen h4 because what other move I mean there are just no alternatives well she is definitely trying to come up with something else but queen h2 Oh, sorry, H4. Maybe bishop f5 can be played here. But then rook, rook g8? No, rook g8. Then we can take on e4, e4 finally. Oh, well, like maybe this. you can't so easily also do that because or then maybe we. Maybe rook f8. Oh no, but now still queen takes e4. 
queen takes and there is an opponent queen mate and I play it. <laughs> but why, why not rook g8, queen e4 and h5? Oh wow, like this. <laughs> h5, really? But maybe it's not such a big threat to take on g4. <laughs> but it's g5. Should. Ah, g5. <laughs> okay, I don't know what is <laughs> happening on this position. <laughs> no, but then rook g5. Yes. Queen takes. And just call my QH1. And the rook b4 is not working for some reason. For some reason. <laughs> if we play rook b4, we just want to get this queen away from g2. But can we do it? I think there's just rook g1. <laughs> okay, this is too much for me. And imagine that they have to count it. Queen f5. And again, another one of yours. <laughs> no, bishop d5, there is e4, and unfortunately... There is also f3. It's better, I guess. <laughs> More accurate, yeah. But you have an eye for those two bishops and the pawn <laughs> mating there. This is yeah, I want to make it work. Okay, so queen h4, we have it on the board. And so now threat is rook e6, what we were mentioning. Rook, uh, queen e4 is not possible due to rook e6 anyway. And so we we decided that maybe bishop f5 is some kind of option. Also bishop d7. Bishop, what about that? But I don't like that because we just play a move. And, and this way. nothing has been achieved. Or from the others, we don't even need to react on it. You know, wait, sorry. <gasps> King h1 played? No, no, no. <laughs> that was me. <laughs> I already got excited. <laughs> So if we don't really need to react because you're not threatening to take any of those rooks because g4 pawn is hanging, right? So then what will you do? Because you need to bring some more pieces or get rid of bishop on d7, which is unfortunately defending on. Okay, yes, you're right. So maybe really rook d8 or rook d7. But then and then you play bishop f5 and claim that this is better than the rook on f8, yeah. Or I'm not sure. <laughs> maybe, maybe that. And bishop f5, I guess this is something very crucial here. Maybe h5, anyway? Yeah, it came to my mind, because now we cannot take on e4, right? Because there is bishop h2. And I think also after bishop f5, immediately we can start and try to play h5. Because if you take, then we have g line already for our rook. Which is also not that clear if it gives much. Oh my god, and they have to play this position and like, one mistake can mean uh, that, you know, it's game over. Yeah, certainly here it's just inaccuracy can mean King H1 played. King H1 played, so guys, here was our line, rookie 6, queen F2. Yeah, this once again, this amazing line that Anna found. <laughs> I mean, this is incredible stuff. And we don't here. know if it's working, but it's here. exciting. <laughs> and queen takes f2. The idea that is made here and here threatened. So if you take on f2, there is e3. So we sacrifice exchange on e6 and then queen on f2 just to open up bishop from b7. <laughs> so the point is we cannot go now king g1 because h2 and h1 is just queen and mate. So the only move would be something like rook d5. And now <laughs> we are not taking bishop d5 you because still have to be precise. this leads to a lost endgame after e7. <laughs> but here. And yeah, suddenly it's white who's quitting. Here we take rook takes d5. And there is no defense against mate other than just playing something like queen d1, queen c8. But. Okay, show this line queen c8, bishop c8. And after bishop e3. Oh no, it was. This is different line, line for All example. Right. And here after e7. Bishop d7? Just. Bishop d7, just. And still, yeah, the bishop is hanging and bishop c6 is coming. Yeah, and nothing. You still can't escape this bishop e6. No, but if you take on e3. Oh, ah, near piece up. Alright. <laughs> and the other one. line, the uh, other amazing line was here. Queen takes f2. No, first queen c8 to start. Yeah, right? start with queen c8 before the check. So bishop takes. Bishop. bishop takes and in order to mate now we are playing e3 so we are not taking on e6 but e3 just to open this diagonal because that's what we want in this line open this diagonal 
and here this is one of the most beautiful stuff <laughs> <laughs> we have seen in this tournament and in a while i guess in general yeah here after bishop b7 we still we don't play e7 or anything uh sorry h2 to not to let the king escape but we still include bishop g3 and, and there's two bishops and a pawn is just mating this is one this is just brilliant and bishop d4 you can prolong but just king g8 and there the rooks are totally useless. You can still do this, but... I guess you can just... And king f1? King f1... You're kind of hanging in there. Hmm. Okay, bishop f3. Oh yeah, bishop f3. Can now we do it? <laughs> now we have a king to stop the pawn. <laughs> <laughs> no, and now it's not so easy, maybe. Bishop g1 is still an option. Oh, there's such moves also, yeah. No, no, so something... <laughs> okay, it's still, in, it's still possible to uh, go wrong here. H2 maybe, then we have to play now. King E2. And we somehow get to a winning <laughs> endgame. For sure, we can find a way. Oh, come on, this is some crazy stuff. E4. E4 just to make place for the king to be able to, <laughs> you know go out of this corner and also defend h1 okay is this possible but it's too weird it's too <laughs> weird i guess it's just too weird but there should be a simple way simple solution how to finish this i mean the, everything is working the king is just cut maybe off. we went wrong before or here is just some simple win Prami SC said that Abdumalik missed your brilliant rookie six. <laughs> <laughs> so was the rookie six working? Well, I guess it has to be working. Uh, but so let's see, what did she do? She just <gasps> Rook played rookie seven. seven. And she had a lot of time and she actually played it pretty quickly. So Well, it just doesn't come to my, your mind. I mean, there are two pawns on the diagonal. I mean, you just don't usually just remove the pawns. I mean, you first have to sacrifice <laughs> an exchange and then the whole queen for a pawn. I mean, it's... Yeah, but you see, it's like kind of what, yeah, what you should be learning when solving a lot of puzzles. And the idea is to see the idea, <laughs> basically, to see the motive. And... Uh, when you're sharp and so on and i'm surprised that uh, zansaya didn't play it because i think she's extremely sharp player then you kind of see it and here you see that this king on h1 is in mate and if you manage to uh, get this bishop from b7 work uh, then it's kind of you know and then it's game over so at least i understand if she would be scared to play it because she couldn't count till the end these lines but she played it so quickly maybe she just Okay, but sometimes she just it didn't just feel doesn't, the motive. Yeah, doesn't but, come to your mind. But now, could there be some problems already for her after moves like bishop d4 or something? Queen f2. Oh no, the same thing is working. Sorry, the same problem is happening. <laughs> so, not that. So, rook e7. Oh my god, this! I got so excited. I really thought that she will play it. That would be certainly. <laughs> the most beautiful game then of the tournament, I mean, just because of this combination. <laughs> yeah, this this would be great for a book or something. <laughs> but rook e7 played, that, that means she's going for g7. Yeah, that's right? her plan, rook take but to g7. But it definitely seems to be too slow, because if that, white can even just play rook g1. Yeah, rook g1 can be simply played and... Uh... None of the previous things are happening. You think or should we, no, sh immediately not. Should Maybe. we still check the same motive? Maybe it's still working. Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I thought rook g1 after rook g7. Can we do it? Rook queen f2. <laughs> they really want to sacrifice, but now... Ah, but the problem now is quite funny. That there is rook g2 and we need to take with one of the pieces on g2 and we don't want any and of the pieces And that disturbs us because bishop g... Yeah, so this yeah, is so crazy. Yeah, so we have comment that queen f2 is difficult to spot if it's your pieces. You know what? Mm, I think I think for such... If I manage to see it, then I think definitely uh, Zansaya also could see it. And I think it's not that difficult to spot it. 
that maybe it's more difficult to actually play and because exactly it's your pieces so it's not so easy to give them and because well you can't go back and you are not in such a comfortable position like we are here that we are just no i think speaking. it's about if she was spotted she would go for it she just didn't spot the queen f2 idea i didn't say it at all until you <laughs> told to me i had no idea what you're talking about you i mean the moment you said queen f2 i asked re-asked you what do you mean by queen f2 at all i mean yeah well she didn't see it. yeah she just didn't uh, think about it in this point <laughs> okay we should look at some other game yeah. as well <laughs> okay now after rookie seven we will still have probably monica will think now for a while so we left this one after g5 i see the time has equalized more or less so let's see what was played Oh, she went for c5 instantly, so she was... So maybe that was a good, because, yeah, you have to do something, if you will keep... kind of, yeah, looking at a6, and the rook is hanging, and so, let's see. Takes, bishop takes, rook to g8, takes, g4, g4. played, oh wow, it's so sharp. Another one, we need your brilliancy. <laughs> and after b... She took on b6 f4 would be met with g3 probably she was not sure what's that yeah yes but this looks to be opening the last pieces of black and now taking taking on f3 g3 oh wow Queen's is, uh, let's she... stop what's the material now now she gave a piece so she gave bishop yeah but yes and pawns are Five for white, four for black. But now, uh, white can take on d7 and b7 also. Okay. And but she just takes, takes it? <laughs> takes. So now it's equal. <laughs> Material wise, it's equal position, right? Yeah. Uh, well. <laughs> Another one. And what is happening now? This is like we said in the beginning of the broadcast, those girls, they are just producing 4 out of 5 uh, exciting games a day. But check this out, what if queen a7 and we simply want to play d3 and in... And if we go away? Queen a2, can I play such simple stuff? I guess you can, I or mean, it's too... black's king is totally safe, so why not? Just take a pawn. But okay, what if queen c2? Queen c2, knight e3 even? Mm, or f2? f2, king h1, you have to play, yeah. otherwise there is fork. Yeah, but still I can go f1. Uh, and take king. And there. And <laughs> sorry guys. We're and taking an exchange, yeah. Just trying but to figure also, out what is happening here. Couldn't I mate you with the pawn I took so far? Mm. Rook Queen A6, you can play. You threaten F1 and you threaten Queen to H6. You are on fire <laughs> today, I mean this is good stuff. <laughs> Shame it <laughs> I didn't show any of that in my rapid tournament. They're just warming up for tomorrow's <laughs> final, that's all. <laughs> yeah, I hope. Okay, so I think Queen A6 is pretty cool, but maybe we could even do that before, before playing Queen A2. But maybe we didn't have to. Yeah. Hmm. So, okay. Bishop G5 was played. But black should be just winning. King is in mate again, just and that's the main Unless issue Unless you will lose some pieces on the way, like, I mean, queen d7, queen d4. Yeah, but there is material hanging also for... No, but this is just mate. Look at it, just knight f2. Or, or even knight h2, you know? And bumps. But this is with checks, oh, yeah. that's why I like it. Yeah, that's not so pleasant when it's a mate. And oh yeah, this is okay. <laughs> yeah, so we have two games of such amazing uh, tactics that it's uh, yeah. When this insane. is the fifth game Let's, by Lela sorry? and fifth game with sharp stuff. <laughs> yeah, Lela is definitely doing her great job, but I think Claudia Coulon made a draw. Is really? This correct? Can that be? Let's see. Uh yes. Wow. <laughs> I told you. But And in this position they made the draw? Can that be? 
I told you that Claudia <laughs> is always managing to save her games. And after 96, they agreed for a draw? I don't usually... <laughs> what? In the... <clears throat> I don't have words, to be honest. I just don't understand how can it be that uh, you agree for a draw in a position that is just... Technically winning and not uh, just technically winning, just that... It's obviously that it's technically winning. I think that it was tricked by Claudia, since she understood that Elizabeth is spending time and maybe she's not that confident what to choose. And uh, as we see, game finished when she had just 11 minutes, so she probably thought, well, maybe I will, uh, you know, confuse something and she just decided draw gives her high place in overall standings. Then I guess just Claudia, you know. <laughs> Sorry, but that doesn't tell anything to me. <laughs> I just don't get it. Yeah, I mean, for those of you who don't know Tom's and his uh, <laughs> style, he doesn't take draw. So this year he was playing in Pals Open, which is one of the uh, strongest opens in Germany, right? Okay, maybe not strongest. There are those crazy strong tournaments as well. Well, but really strong tournament uh, held, I guess, in February every year, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. And in the last game... Uh, I guess they put the kings on the right squares after the end of the games. Well, probably they do, but that's why it's, it's quite surprising for us to make a draw in this position, simply. But yeah, so Thomas was playing his last game, and uh, even though his opponent, he was playing black with very strong opponent, his opponent uh, offered him draw once, then Tom's lost a pawn to push for a win, and his opponent offered him a draw. Uh, and Tom still, even though he was <laughs> boned down, he didn't accept it and he went on to win the game and the tournament. Uh, so yeah, Tom doesn't like draw, so... <laughs> <laughs> and neither do I, and it's... It's... yeah. I mean, you can agree for a draw sometimes, but I mean... There has to be some limits, I mean, just... Uh, <laughs> in the kind of tournament where, obviously, this is not some... Well... Of course, there are some stakes, but they are very small. Well, okay, but we don't know. Let's, yeah, we don't know. Maybe also Elizabeth wasn't feeling so well and she decided this is a good decision for the team. There's no need for the risk. Uh, it's slightly surprising since Tom was just evaluating <laughs> this game as uh, finished, basically, but for White, uh, as a win for White. Uh, hi, Artur Navrovsky. <laughs> it's nice to have you here. Yes, hello. And... Uh, Okay, so here's the draw. I told you, Claudia <laughs> never loses her games. <laughs> and uh, let's see what's maybe in Yola Zabatska uh, against Harika. Okay, so she... Something has happened here. A4 pawn is gone. But in the same time... C3 pawn is gone? Wait, what is the material? No, she took an A4. Oh, she's just pawn up, yes. <clears throat> There was an exchange with the knights on d4, and that's why pawn went to d4, but she took a pawn on a4, and so I guess she is just a pawn up, and king is still on d8, <coughs> which means that the rook is still on h8 stuck, just not getting into the game, and yes, b3, of course. And b3 played, probably b3 is very strong, because you want to open uh, up this position and, you know, get to the king, especially that white pieces are um, just prepared for opening the c line. I guess Harika is having... I hope she will not hate Poland after this <laughs> tournament. Because I think it could be her first time playing in Poland. Yeah. I still didn't get uh, time to speak to her, but yeah, hopefully we'll make some interview with her as well at some point. And, yeah, yeah it's probably not, it's not going to be today, but on Monday or on Tuesday when there is Rapid, we'll try to catch players between games for some express words. So. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully we'll hear more about what's going on. So yeah, now B3 and what could Black do? What are the options? Knight D4? Is it an option? Well, I guess if it's not an option, then isn't she just losing? So let's see Knight D4. is mm -hmm. the most principal line, so that's the and line we have to queen C3, I would... Oh, queen C3. I thought queen D1, one. kind of to keep it all together still. So. And now knight b5, then you just take on c4 and yeah, queen d1 is good because you defend knight on a4 after taking with a pawn on c4, right? 
Oh, with the pawn even. Yes, yeah, we with the pawn. With the pawn on c4, and then with the pawn on d5, and then on e6. Yes, and so on and so on. This pawn from b2 is having quite a day. What is happening after this move? We can just take. Ah, uh, this is protected. This is great stuff. <laughs> yeah, and b2 is not enough, probably. And this is also nothing. Just win somehow, for sure. Okay, you still have to count, and it's not so easy, but... Do we? <laughs> <laughs> well, the rook b4... Well, at least if this rook from h8 for black was somewhere still, in the game. Still, if you could one time do the jump, yeah, then it would be nice, yeah. So, well, it looks like suddenly the match has turned, and it looks like Poland is very close to equalizing it. So if Viola is winning, then we have two draws, and then, okay, we don't know in the last two games, most likely Anna is losing, and we don't know such club to Manik is. Uh, now, from but this point... But it looked like that it's uh, good chances for Monica Sochko, so let's see what happens. So, yeah, Bishop, Bishop f5? f5. I think Bishop f5 Bishop is f6, b4, h2. But it looks like, uh, see, she for example played the sage 2 which just said she can play always. It's like she doesn't know how to proceed with her attack, so she's doing this moves and uh, Monica is just improving her thesis. Yeah, can we can we go back? Not to play, not to play h2. Uh, we were speaking already before that we would prefer to keep this pawn on h3 to What's have some mates. Yeah, I was thinking Are about we it. Losing so far? Maybe bishop c8? I mean, now even if you take on g4, then I have rook g1, and actually it can help me. Yeah, well, White managed to run away simply. Just there was one this moment, this beautiful moment, how you could. I mean, you really have to <laughs> somewhere take this diagram and uh, record it and have some copyrights for this <laughs> tactic on your name. <laughs> it was amazing. Can you do it? Copyrights <laughs> for your tactic? <laughs> if you make it as a study, I think. <laughs> hmm. Curious, <laughs> and yeah, for, actually, you can show it to uh, to our viewers once again. Okay, so we can once again show this tactic which we are speaking about for those who didn't see it. In this moment, I don't know how did she do it, but Anna found this amazing move. Rook takes e come in a moment. <laughs> takes e six. Uh, Together with Queen F2. For those who saw it, I think it's so beautiful that you can look at it again because it's just amazing right now. Just we first sacrifice exchange and now we sacrifice the full queen. And just for the point of opening up the bishop, and after bishop takes f2, we are playing e3. King cannot run anywhere because then h2, h1 will just queen, which checks. Uh, so we have to somehow cover up the diagonal. We do it just group d5. Now bishop d5 is not a good idea because the e4 will. Uh, queen after the simple moves uh, so we have to play rook d5 and we are threatening rook d1 double check and mate so there is no defense against this one so this was just winning it like this and uh, if here we play queen c8 then we take uh, we take and now we include e3 to open up the bishop still once again so for example bishop takes on e3, we play bishop g2 here, and we still include bishop g3 to put the king in the mate. There is one way still to prolong the game. This is bishop d4, king g8, and e4 once again to cover up the diagonal. And after bishop takes e4, we go king f1. And uh, this position, we believe, is just winning somehow. Yeah, but we didn't check it with the <laughs> engine, so we are not entirely certain about this line, but we had the comment that there was uh, that yeah that it was uh, good and can we see elizabeth pets claudia cool and i guess we we checked the game but there was still more moves made since this position after knight to six can you see oh yeah so, why, why didn't yeah, you see them sorry then we didn't have those moves and we uh, we thought that they ag agreed at this point uh, after 96 for a draw so that's a different story if there was more game so, so sorry for this whole yeah, so, speaking uh, we just yeah so claudia did the stuff that you said that she's always doing and just went somewhere and now night okay now c7 i guess was wrong as we have a comment 
Okay, and she blundered, blundered this knight d4 idea, which 95, gives yeah. knight d5, which gives instant a draw by perpetual check. Yeah, okay. No, so of course here is a normal draw. I mean, unlucky for Elizabeth for sure, because she was definitely winning, but well, it's a normal draw. So Yes, yeah. so for some reason it was not updating for us the position, and we saw only that position. <laughs> yeah, so sorry <laughs> for that. Yeah, that's for sure, yeah. But so again, we see that Claudia managed to save uh, her <laughs> position. She has this talent to just make stuff up. And yeah, where were we? So we were. S let's see once again what's happening in the game between Anna and Selela. Mm -hmm. So Bishop g5 was where we left it, Queens got exchanged. And. Oh well, and this is where black is thinking, but... It's so funny that uh, white has all three minor pieces on the b-line, <laughs> somehow. Yeah, and this is what I said previously. Knights don't want to be on b3 and b2 when we open up the game. But can... can Okay, knight f2, king g1, I was thinking just to play knight d1 and take the knight. But then we are losing also d7 knight, so probably we can just play now knight e5. Yes, that just any be. move to go away or knight f6 to go even to e4 just uh can we queen somehow <laughs> can i do this and if taking i don't know just ask if i can manage to queen mm. somehow after king g2 you want to play knight h2 yes can you stop it? Oh, you have knight, knight d2. d2 yes okay so this is not a good idea because you can still stop the pawn Okay, so we need something more s simple. So maybe just mm, maybe just knight f6 or knight e5. And so we are threatening we are threatening knight f2, knight e3, and taking the knight on b2. Well, with the pawn on f3, king on h1, I think yeah, I guess everything should be kind of working out. As there is no way to get out of this. Okay, you can play still knight d1. <coughs> knight to d1 but now can i do the f2 thing <laughs> mm, king g2 is met again with knight h2 i yes, mean again <laughs> before what, it wasn't working so what i thought no but again you can just stay play knight d2 but then i thought i'm just taking an piece up hmm. ah and why were not we this up before? Because okay, we gave up on d7. <laughs> mm -hmm, that's oh, but um... here we can talk about this. <laughs> <laughs> there are some more simple problems. Mm -hmm. Okay, so here... Oh, it seems if she goes just with her knight away and all the threats are still, are still there. Knight f2 and f2 and fall out of knight h2. But okay, so knight d1, yeah? That was the move. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Or maybe it's not so easy. Yeah, let me let's look at this position mm -hmm. once again. What could be moves? Maybe we don't need to go with the knight. And there is actually some tactical solution how to finish all this game. So what is up to knight f two? King g one. Uh, knight. Oh, well, we can take knight e four if let's we ta want. Let's take it. And now king f one. I guess we don't want to go back to this corner. No, but I don't like it. Okay, we can do knight f6 now, but this is not what I'm going for. Let's not take on e4. Let's <laughs> go knight d3. King f1. King f1, okay. King f2. Mm. <laughs> it has to be, just mm. I feel it that there is. <laughs> there is a way, I just don't see it. Okay. Well, so it maybe... probably computer is so laughing at us at this moment that <laughs> it's just crazy. Mm, but we don't okay, see, sorry well, guys. Maybe like this is just easy winning. That you are not threatening anything. Then bishop a6 I will play. Attacking your pawn, just. That's not gonna be too much material. And if you no. take on b3, d2, I will give up my rook and king f2 also taking on f3. And it could be a draw-ish. End game, I think. Really? Okay, it's not what you want to get. I think it's, it's just winning. Really? I think it's probably quite easily winning. 
Hmm. Your pawns are not going to go, so it's all about my king getting to here. Yeah, but I will give b pawn and I will just defend, you know, e pawn, put my bishop on f5 or something like this and just try to exchange some pawns and try to stand somehow if I, I can. I think you're not going to manage because my knight and uh, bishop will create enough those. No, but I think there had to be something more. Let's see what's the current position. I think, yeah, Lela is still thinking. So she's just trying to, trying to make something work. And what to do? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, so some practical chances, I guess, there are for Anna. It seems like with the, those knights and the bishop and everything being on b-file away from the king and king being in such a bad position, it has to be good like or winning but you just can't see the exact continuation exact solution okay, okay. what can we do and that's why we're also staying on this one so long because yeah. it just <laughs> feels like uh, it, it has to be there there has to be some win it should be easy win like not easy but like very straightforward if you find it then you will then you should win with no problems already but if you don't find it <laughs> then you're just wasting time like we are now <laughs> yeah what to do what could be the idea okay but let's see 95 we were playing 91 yeah 91 but also 91 you never want to take on e3 all right yeah we don't have the four sticks right now right so what about knight to d3 Okay, this is strange. an option. So <laughs> maybe three, maybe. And knight f two. That's already not that great. Oh wait, instead of knight f two, did we have f two? Hmm. F two, king g two, and now knight h two. Even though there is no pawn there. Oh, no. <laughs> 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 okay. But then, uh, can we start with knight f two if knight d one is the move you play all the time? So we start with knight f2, <laughs> king g1, and now we go knight e5. I feel e5. so stupid <laughs> that we can't find this. And now if king f1... <clears throat> then we go knight g4. Or the other knight to g4. Which one? Okay, let's try this one. Hmm. I think this should also be winning, yeah. <laughs> this should also be winning. <laughs> this is... Well, something was... Very she intense, gave a check. so she checked. But now really, 95 seems to be very straightforward. This is this good thing uh, to, yeah, just give the check and then keep this tension. Don't move uh, this knight, but just make some move, useful move, attacking move or us here. You're just going with the piece which is hanging and then, yeah, let your opponent solve this <laughs> problem. And there is, I guess, quite a big problem here. So let's see the next game. Yeah. Uh, so which one should, should Monica Sochko against Ransaya Abdumalik? Oh. Uh, bishop h6 after h5, yeah. Yes, h5, bishop h6, bishop h6. This is an interesting mm -hmm. move. Ah, oh, she's just putting king in mate. Now she's threatening rooks, queen c8 mate. And so we have actually tables completely turned around, and now those are white bishops which uh, kind of close black king in the cage and there is some mating that uh, and rook on b5 is not an active piece but it's just out of the game entirely wow. could she be just already winning i think she could be because there's no way to cover up the eight rank anymore queen is so like left out and she just got carried away in the attack and she just totally missed that she is getting mated bishop h6 is nice very nice very interesting and especially that it kind of goes under hg with a <laughs> 10 piece so sometimes it just doesn't come to your king mind g8 then but do we do don't... this <laughs> no but now it should be oh queen g4 is covering c8 <laughs> it's too much of those bishops but king g8 is played mm, no but i'm just wondering if we yeah, are mate okay. then we should kind of try to get out of it Hmm. But you can just play queen c8 anyway, can't you? It's not oh, queen. this is anyways almost no, can, a mate. Well, you give up the rook. So king f7 is mate on, on, on f8. f8. So, so we have to give up the rook. 
So you have to give up the rook with black to make place for the king on e7. And now king. <clears throat> yeah, but <laughs> is it a mate? <laughs> maybe it's not a mate, but it should be winning, right? Rook f8. We don't have any more checks, but. Uh... Yeah, but rook f8 and king e7. I'm not sure what's that. But maybe, maybe king just e take but this no. one. Maybe rook f8, king e7, and just rook c1. I mean, you have no threats. Oh, this is again a mate, yeah. And if you have to play rook b7, then just rook c to c8. And black king, I mean, queen on h4 suddenly is completely useless. Yeah, absolutely. Just bishop is cutting her it off entirely and has no ideas. I mean, amazing. Just turn off events instantly. Just yeah. one one moment. You went for attack, you had this one moment and you had to go for it. And you missed it and that's it. And now you're getting mad at yourself. It's a very cruel yeah, game. It's just, just cruel. And yeah, it was such a moment. But that means that Polish team has chances to win the match. If Viola wins, Monica wins, they have two wins. They tied the match, no? Uh, sorry, this round, yeah. And then the they or... tied the score in the overall. <laughs> well, that would be quite an exciting turn of points. Yeah, and especially that Polish team is, you know, when we look at the ratings, they are just much low, lower rated and yeah, well, great. Claudia Kuhn had a great result great performance, right? Yes, and so did Karina Szybkowska. Yeah. Okay, so let's see once again what is happening in uh, game. How is Viola doing? So, what was played? Rook b4, still to keep an eye on c4 pawn. Queen c3. I guess simply to defend d4 pawn. King to e7. Rook is finally ready to join in the game. Better late than never. And f5 from the other side. Rook b8. She took, took, and rook f1. So not allowing the king to escape. And now I guess, I guess queen f3 can be strong. Or rook but f2. But we have to be a... Ah, rook f2. Right? You have to decide which one is going there and which is not. But you have to be, yeah, a little bit careful with some rook a4 stuff. Will All right, work. so this is here, Black has prepared this tactic. And rook f7, king d8, rook f8, king c7, rook f7, and just king b6. And it's guess. just running away. And rook on b8 is defended. So maybe, yeah, so we have, let's be more careful. Let's go with the queen. And what happens then? Can we take over b3? Or still on a4? No, I thought still, still on, on a4. Still on a4, yeah. yes. But As the rook is hanging yeah. on b2. But now queen f7, maybe with the queen and queen e6, no, queen e6 we can't do. But we can do this? No, but you... Oh, but the rook is a <laughs> check. Ah. And what about rook f2? Oh, come on. Well, the rook on a4 is hanging, and now we want to just take queen e6 and mate on f8 or something. I can still do this. Okay, I don't know what's happening. <laughs> But it's definitely interesting game. For example, here, here, rook f2. Is there gonna be a mate? <laughs> I don't know. This is too much to count or try to evaluate. You can just you speculate can, about this position. You can maybe go queen a3. You cover check on d6, you cover check on f8. But there's this guy hanging, and this guy hanging. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> on d5, that's true. It sounded smart, but it <laughs> wasn't so smart. But okay, aside from that, does black threaten anything else? If we do some precautious, like, something cautious here, <laughs> uh, how could we play safe? Well, now rook a4 is a threat. Yes, anyway. so this is, yeah, my point, if there's anything aside from queen, that. about queen, queen, um... E3 or knight to c5. Yeah, I thought about this, but actually already taking it. Then maybe knight to c5 to defend on b3. Yeah, knight c5. And there are no more crazy tactics, right? And now we just want to next move play. 
Queen and F3. then there's gonna be a mate already for sure with the knight <laughs> participating. <Yeah>. Should be. <laughs> yeah, knight c5, knight c5. C5? It's, no, it's, it's simple and effective. <laughs> <laughs> really effective. Just one of the pieces are coming to f2 or f3 next move, and uh, that's it. You're getting mated there. Okay, guys, I will come back in a second. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, this is really promising round for Polish team. Uh, unexpectedly promising. Once again, the same like they shocked in the first round. They yeah. seem like they are showing excellent fighting spirit in the last one to tie the match. So, uh, meanwhile, uh, Anna lost her game after knight e5, king f1, exactly knight g4 happened. So she took an f2. D3, okay, and she cannot stop D1 anymore, uh, queening, so she resigned. Very unlucky uh, turn of tournament, kind of, for Anna. She started, as you can see, with great with the win over Harika, and she had very much promising positions in most of the games, but at the end she just finished on one point. And uh, Lela kind of also recovered, but actually she scored three and a Five, and it might seem like a decent result, but she had potential for much, much more points. She had really good uh, positions in every single game. Okay, so let's see once again what's happening with Sochko Abdumalik. Is she managing to escape a mate? She played rook e8, not to be mated. Queen c7. Just mate on h7 is a threat. Bishop e7. g5. Okay, what is g5? Uh, oh, g5 is a nice idea. Suddenly mate is threatened, also queen c3 check, and then queen to g7. Oh, and now Abdul Malik is thinking. Hmm. So many threats, that, and none of the pieces are working. They are just all stuck somewhere. It looks like it's she is just lost. I'm back, guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I really got sick, so sorry for that. Today I'm, um, yeah, being a sick potato. <laughs> and so who is last? Uh, Zansaya, yeah? Yeah, now there is an unstoppable queen c3 threat, I guess. Yeah. And just, just the game is gonna be over. Yeah, that's, it seems like that. So many threats from all and sides of the board. And now this poor queen on h4 is released, so out of the game. But g5 is a nice move. Yeah, it is a really nice idea as well, how to just finish it off totally. Mm -hmm. And uh, meanwhile, Anna already lost her game. Ah, can we see how, how it Yeah, went? I just showed it already. Ah. It was the line we counted with knight f2, knight e5, knight ah. g4, and just mm -hmm. the other knight to g4, taking mm -hmm. on h2 and pushing the pawn. So. This, I guess, is the most complicated game still left, but it could be that uh, all the games will be decided before move 40. Hmm. You think? It sure looks like that. I mean, this is the only one which could not... Oh, queen c2. No knight c5. I think knight c5 was in the spot winning. But could this be... It can also mean that it's winning. Yeah, there is no longer this tactic. There is rooks is protected, and now. But now, what is taking on b3? Can we go for now? Ah, we can take on c6 and queen d6 and rook f8 mate. Oh yes, queen d6 is a threat, and mm -hmm. so it's just a piece, so we cannot take it. And so, can we make a move? <laughs> Now I'm ready for queen g6 or for rook f2 or for anything, just very simple prophylactic and attacking move at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it seems that Harika is having a really, uh, really unpleasant time here <laughs> during this match. Can you see her result actually? Did she win anyone? She went two draws, no. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, yeah, very unfortunate event, especially if she loses this one, then a lot of rating loss, like 25 points in 5 games, this mm -hmm. is very huge. But maybe she will 
this morally, morally recover rapid portion. Yeah, she still has basket just tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, to just like fresh in mind and then to just go into a new tournament. And then there is rapid, so on Monday and Tuesday, so they, whoever played badly can still <laughs> try to have some fun. <laughs> Although I was speaking with Anna Barakomska, so now after this loss, she's on one out of the five. And she has the same problem like I do, that she's, uh, yeah, just very bad rapid player. <laughs> so she's not really looking forward to it. <laughs> but who knows, maybe maybe she will surprise herself and she'll play well. Well, I mean, everybody has those events when you just surprise yourself, I mean. Uh, I am also not the greatest police player, for example, and then there's just one, one event a year and just suddenly I'm winning <laughs> everyone there. And this just thing happens sometimes. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so sh what so, could she do? So Harika to... is down to three minutes. Okay, she still has she has to make four moves, still time control, but it just seems like it's very difficult to do something for her. Any moves, it's just hard to imagine, just to suggest like maybe she'll sacrifice an A four and then try to or on D four. <laughs> I don't know, but knight d4 you can probably just go queen to g6 if you very much don't want to take this knight. But you can just take it. Yeah, <laughs> you can. But okay, uh, taking on b3 is not possible as we already mentioned, because queen c6, queen d6 is coming. Hmm. Yeah. Just a very difficult position. What? What is the any move? Rook f8? Uh, Rook F8 came to my mind, but does it do anything at all if you just play Rook F2? Uh, because after Rook F2, just Queen F2 is coming and it's just still killing via this F line. Exactly. Can we try to do this? I mean, do we need to take it? I guess we have to, right? <laughs> Probably. And now, at least, well, you have some illusion that. But actually, nothing changed. You still want the same thing, Queen G6. <laughs> <laughs> You didn't get anywhere with this. Uh, but yeah, so it seems that really Yola Zavatska is winning her game. At least, yeah, it seems so. And uh, also Monika Sosko is winning her game. And that means that today they're winning the match, the round, and uh, they will tie the score. Yeah, no. they will tie. Yeah. They will tie the score. Uh, they reach time control right now. So. They did reach move 40 and they're gonna be stinking, mm -hmm. but... Uh, but what about queen e7? Uh, queen f5. Alright. <laughs> and... But what about uh, rook c7 simply? Yeah, but now you want to take, yeah? Everything to... <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> because, I don't know, I was thinking something like... E3 <laughs> or something. Still hoping to open up this bishop. But I guess he can take queen f5, bishop g7. And then with the simple, simple bishop f6. Mm -hmm. And now there is no longer queen covering h7 screen. So this game was really, I think, the most exciting game of the round. <laughs> yeah, certainly. This is just such fireworks there. From the very beginnings, and Saya chose very sharp line in Benoni, and yeah, both players were just going for it. And, and she got what she wanted to, but yeah. she just didn't manage to handle it. No, yeah, she just didn't, yeah, feel this moment for when she has to already act, I guess. Yeah, because just insanely fast turn of events it was. I mean, just. One moment and just uh, from pieces being active, pieces just got passive, and this is. Yeah, and yeah, this now is very. Sad it's very painful also to play when you realize that uh, your attack is totally done, and then you should, by the idea, be bringing your pieces back and just to do it. But instead, you're still kind of hoping that you'll make something work, like she did with this H two, which was just totally unnecessary and just didn't achieve anything but uh... okay but we okay we don't know maybe she had to play it we just very quickly analyze it as also just now came to my mind you can just start with queen e7 and after queen f5 uh, rook c7 the same thing and you're attacking also b7 bishop you're threatening okay bishop g7 and yeah that's 
I guess this. Uh, well, she played it already. Well, and now the only move is queen f5. There is no way to defend from the mate, and now rook c7. Want to just grab the bishop, give mate, bishop g7, bishop f6, and. Can we still somehow hold on? But you take. Um, oh, we just take the bishop. Yeah. That's right. And yeah, nothing is really soft for blacks. Okay. From one side, since I am Polish, I can't be, of course, sad that Monica is winning. But at the same time, I am <laughs> a little bit regretting that, uh, yeah, rookie 6, queen f2 was not played. Now knight e5. Trying to, trying to make something work. Yeah. Okay, I will come in a sec. <laughs> trying to shuffle things around a little bit. Uh, I'm wondering what is her idea? Okay, she took the knight already. Does she d4? Okay, so she wants to have some sort of checks on the diagonal and uh, in this way to be able to make some some tactics work. But uh, what is if we just take on d4? Uh, also e5 4 is handy. Okay, so let's say she goes for it. But it's a full piece, and probably there are just a lot of moves that are winning. Mm. One of them could be just queen d2, for example. No, queen d2. I'm not threatening anything. Okay, so this is the issue. So maybe just rook f4. And now I'm threatening rook f7, and all the same ideas, and then just piece up and comfortably con converting this point. If you take on b3, I guess there is just rook f7. Can go to d6. So king d8 maybe, but this there is a mate. So okay, just like this we can do it. And now we force you to go to d6. Now queen c7, and somewhere this king is being pushed. And now knight c3. And queen e5. And finally the mate. Or queen e5. <laughs> ah, this was mate. Okay. Yeah. Oh, she played queen e4. She didn't take the pawn. She's just doing it calm and easy and safe. Mm -hmm. So now, should we expect something like taking on b3, maybe? And white is gonna. Well, she can just take it back. Can Another rook b3, queen d4, right? <clears throat> or just rook d4. Or, yeah, just any move. <laughs> But it seems like they are also going to reach move 40 here. <laughs> she had chances, I guess, to finish it off before move 40, but, well, I mean, this is not the goal when you're playing a game. <laughs> yeah, you just want to finish it. But, okay, on the, she's just piece up, so it could also just easily finish in a few moves. Yeah, sure. I mean, if there will be no chances that uh, to catch the knight or for some tricks that Harika could see, she would just resign because obviously, obviously she's not going to play full piece down without any fireworks on the board. And so it seems at this moment that Polish female or Polish girls will uh, equalize the score, and then we have Rapid uh, ahead of us. Because yeah. basket chess, which are played tomorrow, they will be used as a tie break. So uh, basically, classical and rapid is counted for the overall results. A classical will count in, in, in the double value. So but if there will be a draw, well, it, doesn't so it doesn't matter. matter exactly. Uh, yeah. So who do you think has better chances in the rapid? Well, usually the faster the time control, the bigger is the show and strength of the players. This is also what uh, Magnus Carlsen said in the press conference after the World Championship match and so on, that he believed that this is the future of the chess because of the reason that uh, the shorter the time control, the more you see the play who is stronger. It's easy for him to say, he's <laughs> clearly <laughs> the strongest. <laughs> well, yeah, but no, he has a point, obviously, because, I mean, on classical chess, everybody has possibility to learn so much, and those knowledge can be so preferred. And there, you just have to show what you know. Okay, so you think that the world team has uh, better chances, yeah? Yes, I do think so. Yeah, but at the same time, you know, for example, Claudia Kulan, 
she's a great uh, rapid player. Isn't she a good red boost player? She's even greater blitz player. She, I think her rating is already over 2500 in blitz or somewhere close to that. Uh, but the, yeah, interesting thing is that she was always playing um, in... No, I guess it was, yeah. The, 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 when there was rapid and blitz, she uh, played in boys group already. So, huh. uh, because she was just so much better than uh, all the players in her group. For example, Anna Varakomska, they are the same uh, year. And so they were playing in the same group in those youth uh, categories. And yeah, so Claudia was just crushing it always, those fast controls. But no, her rapid rating yes, is actually is really not, bad. That's fair. Checking that her rapid rating is the lower than her classical rating. And that was what I wanted hmm. to point out. Because usually was... rapid ratings are very close to the classical ratings for players. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> <laughs> it's like one and a half, uh, sorry, 150 points lower for me. <laughs> I don't know how it is for you guys, but for me, rapid chess. And Blitz is even lower. <laughs> so, yeah. And faster time, time controls certainly Pref mm -hmm. like she prefers and uh no but i i uh, made interview with her and i also mm, spoke with her she didn't uh yeah we met a few times during the tournament and she's really waiting for rapid <laughs> <laughs> and she feels very comfortable in that and i guess for claudia the her biggest strength is when she feels confident because <laughs> then she can really crush it okay so in this game we have some development so some Stuff got exchanged. So some very simplified line happened, but uh... and now taking on b3, rook b3. Maybe rook takes g4 will happen, and she will try to fight. Ah, rook g4 and rook e5, right? Yeah. Hmm. So I guess this game is gonna still go on some moves. Hmm. And let's see how is Monica uh, Sosko with uh, Zansaya Abdumalik. So after taking, taking. Rook c7 happened. Queen g6 exactly. She took the piece. E3 she played, and now Monica, Monica is thinking. Is thinking but she... Okay, f3. f3 then queen c2, right? Queen c2 is the idea, yes, but. It's... Of course, it can be objectively dangerous because this, the pawn on h2 is just so blocking. But, but maybe there will be some perpetual because suddenly your pieces are very far. So if you take on e2. But after taking on e2, there is queen f7. Yeah, this see. is what was my point. That you just need to defend f3 pawn and there are no more checks. So if you play something like, like rook a1, <laughs> just to go away with your rook, and queen e2, queen f7 should be just winning. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So it seems like Monica is winning, but she's, well, it's okay, she still has to play a few moves. But maybe now she can just play something like queen, queen e7. Can she? She can, of course. There is nothing really. After take taking, the pawn and maybe even rook f one. Just rook f one, of course. And you just queen f five, but just all those moves they don't do anything at all. And that's the problem. But you can't play queen f six <laughs> if you want to simply fight queen f six and taking taking and rook g one. <laughs> yeah, this I actually is... wanted to play it <laughs> for a moment. And still this. And I and f7 and f2 with each one. But you could you could still <laughs> play actually king g2. What? After instead of f7. <laughs> okay. Okay, but rook b1 is winning, right? Because you will take b4. Yeah, I guess the other move is better, but well, of course. <laughs> okay, it's not necessary to count <laughs> this line. Some yeah. No, but I think it. Three, she will just play, and then we can one. It's very simple. Yeah, but now both of them they got this uh, extra time, so they can spend. But also, I think you know what could be played. No, it doesn't change. I wanted to say that queen b six, but then queen e four, f three, and queen c two. So that's actually maybe she'll just play with f one, for example. Yeah, so she has a lot so of options. Check and uh, just f three now. So it's kind of. Winning a tempo. Mm -hmm. And now, maybe your queen takes s6. Yeah, in protecting this position, you can do it. So, yeah, there's just no intrigue left in this one at all. Okay. And let's see the end game. <laughs> so, rook takes g4, and 
in the next move probably can. coming rook g5 yes so she didn't mate she played very simple and it's winning but she still will have to play now <laughs> yeah so what do you think black has some chances or yola will easily win this one it should be easily winning of course but there is possibility to wonder for sure so you should probably play king to f3 right King. So which pawn would you prefer to keep? Pawn on e5 or on h5? I guess on e5, right? Or no? <laughs> <laughs> one of them, I guess. Just... <laughs> one of them. That's, that's clear. But which one? I mean, let's learn some technique of end games from Grandmaster. <laughs> no, I mean whichever I can't keep, I would prefer to keep because I can't keep both of them, I guess. Yeah, but which one? <laughs> you can... I'm kind of saying that uh, it doesn't matter which one, but uh, you just need them. But after rook g5, pawn, so right? what do you play after rook g5? Now you can choose. I mean, well, now it's, it's very or... hard to defend this one, so we all have all the time to keep rook on h1. So obviously, I am going for king. Yeah, no, after and taking, king. So after taking, maybe. Let's see, 5. Just not to let the king. And game. then rook a1, I want. Exactly. Rook a1, rook a7, and this should be, this should be winning. No, of course. Easily. Quite. Almost. Yeah. Easily. <laughs> Never easy in chess, but. <laughs> Except the times when it is. Yeah. <laughs> no, but king f3, yeah, and this is also pointless because just rook b1, you have, or knight c5. Knight yeah, c5, maybe, yeah. Sorry, guys, I got so sick today that. Hmm. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so anything Yola at all still... happening? Yeah? But ma who knows? Maybe Yola will start to feel the pressure because she knows that her result uh, from her result is decided whether they will equalize the result. Queen b6 played. Queen b6. Well, but queen b6. One is... of the moves, just as well. But now queen e4. But what does change? And queen c2? Queen d4 check. Ah, that's... That's easier even, right? Yeah, and queen d3 exchanging queens in the next move. Yeah. So actually that move was also good. So, what do you think? Will Yola be a little bit stressed? No, I think she should I sleep. I think she maybe. could be, but I mean... Uh, <laughs> I think it's such end game. You should... You can be as stressed as you want, and it shouldn't <laughs> matter. I mean, she has time, and this is the most important. If she was playing on seconds, still she could see some goals, but she has so much time that any stress should be quite easy to be to yeah, overcome in this case moment. Okay, okay so, so this one is... Uh, yeah, let's switch to another game, and let's see. King of free played, so now we were... Now we were counting that after rook g5, just to play king f4, rook h5, knight c5, to Maybe cut this king. better to try than rook e4, to try to take this pawn and keep an eye on this one. But now can we play rook 2 g1? King f7, right? King... Yeah, king f7. Hmm. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> to keep s be a little careful, I guess. Okay, so here it's maybe not that easy. Hmm. Isn't this also very easy? <laughs> just <clears throat> go with and it. And it's getting scary. And now d4. And you just protect it. And you just go and <laughs> go and go and go. It would be funny if <laughs> it's not <laughs> winning. You're so confident about yourself. But I guess it is winning, yeah. Hmm. She played rook g5 though, and I think after king f4 is much more easy to win already. Uh... Yeah, but this e pawn, which also kind of uh, helps us to, you know, just bring our own king there, and we want to just queen. Maybe now there's g6. Let's rook a1. Yeah, so that was my idea. <laughs> it's not so smart. But it's still winning, just you don't need actually even those pawns here, yeah, right? Good. Maybe you're just going with big one, yeah? Just with the big one. Mm. Yeah, 
yeah. Okay, so I guess we'll be slowly finishing for today since those two games seem to be mm, decided. Mm, and yeah, there is not so much to analyze here. Yeah, it's I mean, just we basically, are confident in players' abilities yeah. to finish them off. It's just basically waiting for them to slowly concentrate and find a, a you know, calm win. Most likely, if no, then it will be surprising. But yeah. They are all strong, so probably it's gonna happen. And tomorrow there will be basket chess, and um, that will not be uh, broadcasted. So if you want to see some uh, action, follow the Facebook page of the tournament. VGM Radzikowska will make some videos from the playing hall, and they will be available there. So yeah, you can check it out. And see you on Monday, hopefully, where we'll be broadcasting uh, from the very start of the from the morning. Hall rapid uh, yeah, Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, if I'm not mistaken, 11 a.m. Central European time. Or, or 10, first. because uh, there was there were some changes because they wanted to move one game from Tuesday to Monday uh, to finish a little bit earlier on Tuesday. Mm, yeah, so okay, you so will know that. <laughs> so check those Facebook pages, then you will know. Probably also on Chess 24, you will have information. And, and you will also check the. Recheck this information and you yeah. could uh, follow Anna's uh, YouTube channel, then you definitely <laughs> will get notified by the live event and yeah, when it if starts. Yeah, you subscribe it. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, uh, do it. Thanks so much for being with us. Sorry for being sick today. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mm, yeah, sorry for that. And yeah, hopefully see you on Monday. <laughs> yes, bye. Thank you for watching and see you on Monday. <laughs>